Independence Day, and that includes Christmases and Thanksgiving. Some would say we should be committed, Mark. Indeed. Indeed. So, uh, yeah, we are here live. It is the Independence Day weekend. And honestly, last night we got so uh, distracted, I think, by the conversations we were having, we really didn't even address Independence Day at all last night, even though we, we were actually live on it. Uh, we talked about the controversy over what is news and what is not and when to release a, a, a kind of a gory video of somebody committing suicide. Today, I actually went out this morning, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church. These was, are the, this is the uh, GodHatesFags.com fame, right? Is that their web? I didn't know they had a website. but Yes, I know they that have was... a website, and their website is that despicable um, yes. set of uh, words. They are a despicable group of people. Um Anyway, Westboro Baptist Church, we've kind of talked about them over the years here and there on Free Talk Live, and there's a good side to Westboro Baptist Church. It's hard to really uncover what that is, but the good side is that Westboro Baptist Church actually helps protect free speech to some extent. I'd say that that's probably true because, um, you know, when you think about it, free speech when it's popular speech, doesn't need protection. That's right. If I were to say I like the Yankees or the Red Sox, um, there's a lot of people in America that that agree with me, so they don't need... It doesn't need protecting in that way. However, when you take a position like... I believe their position is that God is killing or causing to be killed or allowing to be killed American soldiers because... Because of gay people. Yes, because the United States accepts gay people in some manner or another. Um, You know, I mean, I I don't agree with their position in any way, shape, or form. However... God made gay people. That means God loves gays, too. I, I, I'm, I'm with you, but uh, the, that, that's beside the point. It doesn't sort of forward the—you have to try out new ideas in order to find the good ones. The world's full of bad ideas, there's no doubt about it, but you have to consider that we're, we hold a bunch of bad ideas, too. Yeah, the, there's plenty of ideas that you personally, the listener, hold that are bad, and the only way to get new ones, better ones, is to try them out See how they work for you. Challenge yourself. Yeah, yeah. you got to challenge yourself. you got to look at them. Assess new ideas. So, you know, the Westboro Baptist Church ideas are terrible ideas, and they're ignorant ideas, and they're bigoted ideas. Um, but they should be free to express those ideas. They should be if free. They don't, if they aren't free to express those ideas, then you and I will not be free to express other ideas that are also unpopular. So I went this morning to an event that was supposed to feature the Westboro Baptist Church. Now, what they've been doing, apparently, and how often they uh, do this, I'm not sure. But apparently what they'll do is they'll find some sort of military funeral. Now, Westboro Baptist is from, was it Kansas or somewhere like that? Midwest, Kentucky? right, somewhere in there. Somewhere down there. So nowhere near New Hampshire. It would be a bit of a, a bit of a hike to get up to New Hampshire for what they were planning, which was to protest, and there's their normal Westboro Baptist fashion, would be to protest outside of a military funeral. This is kind of one of their common things that they do. They've done some other things as well, but kind of the military funerals with their bread and butter uh, is, so to speak. So they show up with their God hates fag signs or whatever other related signs they have and the idea would be they were going to stand kind of across the street from this event it was happening at a high school conval high school in peterborough new hampshire and uh there i guess there was some guy that was killed in afghanistan some military character so, sorry about that um who was killed and so that's what this was some sort of funeral procession for him sure the idea was that westboro baptist church they'd sent out a press release saying they were going to be there at 9 15 the funeral thing was supposed to start at 10 a.m so they were going to be there a few you know 45 minutes early so a number of activists came out um you know from manchester and Keene as well as well as peterborough and uh, we all showed up with uh, the possibility in mind that Westboro Baptist might actually show, but also understanding that there was a good chance they weren't going to because it's it's apparently a well-known tactic of, of Westboro Baptist Church to announce that they're going to be somewhere, get everybody all whooped up about it, and then they don't show up. Now, I found myself wondering how many of the people, because there were hundreds of people at this event, hundreds of bikers, for instance, like ex-military people, Hundreds of people out there, many holding yeah, signs. I thought there were thousands was the, what the paper reported. Okay. I'm not good at making estimates like that. I would say that on the street corner that I was at, there were probably several hundred people on the street corner and probably several hundred more uh, on the school property itself. So, yeah, probably fair to say at least a thousand people. I don't know about thousands. Let me see uh, what I... Hard to say there. Yeah, I'm going to so go that's ahead based and read on, what I... 
what it says here. Based on my observations from being there from about 9 to 11 o'clock this morning. And um, anyway, they didn't show up. Westboro Baptist did not appear. And I, I found myself wondering how many of the people attending this funeral thing would have attended had Westboro Baptist Church not planned to show up. I don't know. I would imagine quite a bit fewer. I would imagine you're right about that. I, I mean, I don't want to speculate on how many people would or wouldn't have. Been, it actually, it would have been interesting to ask people that. I didn't think of that uh, at the time, but I did get an interview with an eccentric <sighs> old lady who uh, had set up some boxes, uh, like, a, like a box, something about support the troops, and she had these uh, glass jars with herbs in them and a little animal and a child. And I went over there, and she just looked <laughs> eccentric, and I thought, oh, this lady will be interesting to talk to. And, uh, of course, I had my video camera, and I asked her if I could... Uh, if I could interview her. In fact, it might be kind of fun to play it on the air. I haven't screened it yet. I, I don't think she curses or anything like that. But to summarize her viewpoint, uh, and I don't want to put words in her mouth, so I might, might get a little... You're just summarizing. Little, yeah, to summarize her viewpoint, she was there to protect the troops from the Westboro Baptist Church, who apparently are aligned with Lucifer. So she's there to protect the troops from the church, but also to protect them from the government, and at Who? The, Westboro Baptist? West, no, yeah, uh, no, the soldiers. I'm sorry, the troops. She's there to protect the troops from Westboro Baptist Church and to protect the troops from the government. Which government? I don't. Didn't get clear. Uh, See, this is the, really the problem: that. is that there's hundreds of governments out there. I think she meant the government, as in the federal government. Okay. Uh, went a little further with her, kind of asking her, um, you know, for detail on her position with the. Uh, with regards to the government, she seemed to acknowledge that there was a military industrial complex, and she seemed to It'd have be hard to deny that she seemed to have concerns for that while at the same time acknowledging that soldiers are just following orders and it's a good thing that they just follow orders. So even though she acknowledged that the military industrial complex is essentially giving these soldiers orders that she might disagree with, she still valued them following those orders. So not, needless to say, the lady was a little bit confused on, on her positions on things. Right. It's very interesting how people can be... Hold uh, contradictory viewpoints? Well, right. I mean, Without realizing it? They, they, for whatever reason, believe that the government is full of unaccountable bureaucrats until those bureaucrats get uh, guns put in their hands, in which mm -hmm. case they are... Uh, you know, they're saviors from heaven in many cases. I mean, it's very, it's a very odd position. So I don't know if I'll be getting the video out or how soon I'll be getting the video out because there's quite a few things on my, uh, my to-do sheet. But nonetheless, Westboro Baptist Church did not show. And otherwise, it was, you know, pretty much uneventful. A bunch of people standing around waving flags and trucks driving by with flags in the truck bed and, you know, that kind of a scene. There was a humongous American flag flapping from a crane. The fire department had a crane out and with a, like a gigantic uh, American flag. Well, that it. ought to that ought to just silence the people that disagree. <laughs> so there you go. That was my experience uh, this morning. I actually went to the base. There's like a yearly kind of Independence Day baseball game that they have here in Keene, and they moved it to tonight because it was raining a couple nights ago. So I went out there and handed out some uh, foundation for New Hampshire independence flyers, which encourages people to consider the idea of New Hampshire declaring independence. Got hundreds of those handed out and actually had uh, didn't have any nasty comments this year. Last year, I got a couple couple people, you know, giving me some sort of eh, free stater or some sort of, you know, nasty statement like that. That didn't happen this year. So, well, I've got a poll here that says, in fact, Americans have been uh, progressively uh, having their sense of freedom drop. Well, that's uh, a good question. Poll. Do you have more freedom today or fewer freedoms today? We'd love to hear from you at 855-450. We'll talk about Americans in this poll here and what do they think. And you're welcome to bring up anything that's on your mind. Share your story here on Free Talk Live, the live Saturday show. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn 
It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. Now, I have work today. This is... You ain't gonna make... Wait, now. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Why are you running from me? Because you scared me. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills... Would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can take control toll-free. Bring up whatever's on your mind on this live Saturday edition, whether you want to talk about the Westboro Baptist Church, who did not show up at their planned protest today outside of a military funeral, or whatever happens to be on your mind. Mark's going to tell us about Americans and their opinions about whether or not they're satisfied with how free they are. Apparently, the uh, numbers have been a change in, in that category. Mark will give us those details here in moments. Don't forget, you can join us online over at freetalklive.com, which is uh, where you can go to get some free coffee. Yeah, don't feel as free as you used to. Get a cup of co- get a pound of coffee for free at coffee.freetalklive.com. If you go there, you will get a uh, be able to get a pound completely free, except for you pay the shipping, from BuzzBox. It's shade-grown coffee, which is good for people who get kind of that acid reflux from, from coffee because it really diminishes that. It's 100% organic and top 1% grade Arabica beans. Now, BuzzBox Coffee is like all other high-end coffee. It's priced commensurately. But one thing that they do differently than other high-end coffee companies is, A, they instead of doing this uh, fair trade thing, they allow people to buy into their co-op. So they kind of keep uh, they, they keep more of an oversight on what goes on inside their coffee company. And secondly, they allow companies like Free Talk Live to partner up with them and uh, – 
be able to offer microloans to people who aren't even involved in their coffee trade at all. So for every 10 people who sign up at coffee.freetalklive.com to get their coffee regularly, not just the, the free pound. You get the free pound, you try it, you decide you like it, you continue to get the coffee, that kind of thing. Um, for every 10 people, we're able to offer another microloan to another family around the world. So whether it's a plow they need or a bicycle or um, you know some kind of restaurant equipment or some kind of livestock or whatever it is that they need in order to make their lives better, to achieve the dream that they have. Because you can't give just a bunch of handouts and expect that to work. You give people a hand up to do what it is that they want to do to achieve their dreams, and you're going to change lives. So go, please, get a free pound of coffee by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. All right. Our toll-free number, again, is 855-450-FREE. We also have Skype, and that's where Benjamin Bartholomew is from California. Our Skype username, by the way, is lrn.fm. Go ahead, Benjamin. Uh, well, first, real quick, uh, I'm glad the uh, the Westboro Baptist Church people didn't uh, show up. Uh, I'm not. I was really there. looking forward to that. It, you know, I thought the same thing, too. I was so excited when they were going to come to uh, my area, and I went out there. And I thought it was going to be really interesting, and it, it just wasn't. Wait, so they uh -huh. did actually come to your area? Oh, yeah, yeah. They came out uh, to the military base nearby to, to protest, uh, you know, gays being allowed in the military or whatever. Hmm. And it, it just it wasn't as interesting as you would hope. Oh, we would have made I, it. We would have made it interesting. I had my uh, I had my big gay dance party outfit ready to go. I wasn't you wearing had a rainbow oh. colored tutu. No, I wasn't wearing it. You know, I wanted to get out and kind of get a scope around and see what was happening and wait for them to show up before I would were to put that on. So no, I didn't want to just not much show gayer up than a, a rainbow colored tutu. <laughs> yeah, so I had planned well, on uh, having my big gay uh, dance party outfit on, grabbing a video camera, and going to try to get interviews with uh, Westboro Baptist Church members. I that thought that certainly would, have been would have been more entertaining than yeah. anything I, I did. So, uh, you know, uh, what I wanted to talk about, uh, there's been a, an issue going on for the last couple of weeks uh, following uh, particularly the uh, the murder of those armed bureaucrats down in Los Angeles by the two for I, I don't you know mean Las else, Vegas. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, I'm sorry, the, the cops that were shot in the CC's pizza. Right. Well, they were eating lunch or whatever. Right. Um, about this idea of if it's okay to you know to use uh, to initiate violence against uh, our bureaucrats, and no, it I is just, not okay. I, I absolutely right, but there are people um, kind of within the liberty community who seem to be espousing that, or yeah, it's not okay, but it's not the worst idea, and it just seems very collectivizing to say, well, you know. Lots of armed bureaucrats, uh, you know, do bad things. So, you know, I'm sure these guys did or, or whatever it happens to be. I can. It's very lazy thinking. Very. I can I can almost I don't, but I can almost understand a person's thinking of um, kind of retaliatory violence of vigilante justice. You know, maybe there's some armed bureaucrat who, who goes around killing a bunch of dogs and nothing ever happens to him. So somebody initiates violence on that individual kind of in retaliation, but that's for a specific reason. Just finding someone who's wearing a costume and, and shooting them. Mm. It, it, that doesn't make a, a whole lot of sense to me. I find it very disgusting. I, I'm not going to go to somebody who's uh, dressed in gang colors and just shoot them because, well, I'm sure that gang's done bad things, and I'm sure he's been involved, and he's okay with it. So, you know, it's fine. Or uh, the idea of, well, they're paid for in, um, in stolen funds uh, through taxation. But with that kind of argument, uh, where do you stop that? Where do you draw the line? Is it okay to shoot uh, teachers mm -hmm. because they're basically prison wardens? We call them day prisons because that's what they are. So is it okay to shoot them? No. Um, it, absolutely. That's that's my point. And but it's also, by reason, the way, it's not okay in my book to shoot cops who you know have done uh, harm as well. I think that you know there are cops out there who have hurt others, um, and to target them specifically, while more understandable, still is in my book wrong um, because people should be given the chance to be better people and and change and apologize and and be forgiven and you know have a second or third chance, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, and it's just, it's disgusting, the kind of, like you were saying, the lazy thinking uh, that kind of goes into this. Um, 
Well, and plus, so if you I, just ice, uh, you know, if, if, if a cop hurts somebody, then they owe that person or that uh, family restitution. And killing the cop is not going to bring any justice to a situation. If, even if we are talking about a cop who hurt somebody who was violent unnecessarily or whatever, let's find a way to hold that person accountable rather than taking their life, uh, their life from them. Because as we've seen, even if you are going to go and take out bad cops... Ultimately, more bad cops are just going to take their place. It'll be a never-ending assault, and they're going to feel, um, and they're going to feel besieged in the process, yeah. and thus uh, and justified you know, act, act worse. I mean, you know, look, you you can't fight a war against a government. Um, you can the only the only effective means a weapon against guns is the truth mm. and we must speak the truth on a regular basis and sometimes that's hard because sometimes it goes against our well-founded beliefs uh, you know every i think that it's fair that we talk about the good things that uh, people that work for the government do too so yeah i mean you, it's just the truth benjamin anything yeah. else you want to share tonight uh no not tonight uh Thank you guys Thanks very much. Thanks for the call. Appreciate hearing from you. Benjamin, by the way, does our weekly digest, which is a, a, a labor of love for him, I, I think, an activist project. He does accept contributions, but we don't actually pay him for the work. It's all his idea. He decides what to put in the digest. Uh, he makes those editorial choices and puts it all together. Basically, the weekly digest is... Uh, a highlight reel of a week's worth of Free Talk Live boiled down to about uh, just over an hour's worth of content. So you can get the Weekly Digest by going to weekly.freetalklive.com. That'll take you right to the podcast with only Weekly Digest episodes in it. Or if you subscribe to our regular podcast at freetalklive.com, the episodes appear there as well, along with all the rest of our stuff. So we'll come back with more. There's plenty of time for you to share your thoughts, maybe on Westboro Baptist Church, maybe on the idea of violence as a solution. Oh, it's a terrible solution. It won't solve anything. But anyway, you're welcome to share your thoughts here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 or Skype in at user LRN.FM. We're coming up. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. When you're coping with bad news and the news media come calling, and they will, don't clam up. As notorious political figures find out the hard way, the cover-up can be worse than the crime. So get out in front of unfavorable news about your company, your group, or organization, or yourself. The sooner you confront a negative story, the sooner it will be over. Responding as quickly to negative stories as you do to positive ones enhances your credibility. Hiding embarrassing information or lying will do more damage than damage control. Never stonewall. Tell your side of the story, use specifics, and detail what corrective action has already been taken. Respond in kind. If the issue is emotional, don't sound like a cold, unemotional Mr. Spock. For more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kids should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. When a deer approaches a marijuana plant in the woods and uh, nibbles off one of the buds, is that sad? Is that deer living a sad state of existence? I have no idea. I've never heard of an animal um, eating something that was. Christy, that's because you you have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know one thing (laughs) about cannabis. You don't know anything about it. I understand that you want to partake of that drug. Oh, I I do. Trust me. Listen, I understand that you should have the right to do that. Oh, thank you. Where it's legal. Where it's legal. Oh. Since the beginning of time, human beings and other animals have been altering their state of consciousness. Believe it or not, it's not just a human being thing. Robins eat elderberries in the in the uh, fall and get drunk on them. Yes, yeah, so uh, this is a, a, a common thing amongst the various different creatures <laughs> of this know. earth. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and it is the live Saturday edition of the program. Take control toll-free here at 855-450-FREE, and that is the ProXPN toll-free line. If you care about online privacy, you really need to know about ProXPN. It's a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data, and that means that before what you're doing online gets to your ISP, it's encrypted so your internet service provider doesn't know what you're up to anymore. Right now, they're probably keeping records of every website you visit and every search that you enter for, in some cases, as long as five years. So you can put a stop to that by going and getting ProXPN software. It's free. You go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, grab it for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, or Android devices. If you're a Linux user, just email their support department to get a little bit of detail on how to get it set up for Linux. But whatever operating system you're on, there's probably a ProXPN for you. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, get started. And when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account for unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world to which you can connect and the ability to privately torrent, please use our discount code. It's FTL20, and the 20 means you'll save 20% for the lifetime of the account. That's proxpn.com slash FTL, code FTL20. And keep in mind, ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits, and you get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL, and don't forget code FTL20. As we continue here, you may bring up whatever's on your mind. Mark, you're going to be telling us about the Freedom Satisfaction Rating. I didn't even know there was such a thing. And apparently it's been pretty high up until recently. What's going on there? Yeah, none of it makes much sense to me, but it, I'm going to read the article anyway. This is from the Christian Science Monitor, monitor mm-hmm. here from uh, Graham Slattery. It says, uh, this Independence Day, Americans will celebrate the nation's core values, especially freedom. But according to a new international poll, Americans have become significantly less satisfied with the freedom to choose what they want to do with their lives. That's uh, in quotation marks. Less satisfied with the freedom to choose what they want to do with their lives. Now, when it comes to these polls, I find it to be very important the words they say, not the way they interpret the words. Because... I mean, people will answer the question as it's phrased, mm-hmm. and oftentimes the reporters will then extrapolate what they want to extrapolate from it, and That's true. that bothers me. So it here says 79% of U.S. residents are satisfied with their level of freedom, down from 91% in 2006, according to the Gallup survey. So 12% drop in approximately seven, seven or eight years. Yeah, about that. Okay. 
That 12% drop uh, pushes the United States from among the highest in the world in terms of perceived freedom to 36th place hmm. outside the top uh, quartile. That's the top 25%. So it is not in the top 25% of the 120 companies, uh, excuse me, countries sampled, uh, trailing Paraguay, Rwanda, hmm. and the um, autonomous region of, God, where is this place? Uh, autonomous. Na- autonomous, excuse me. Uh, Nagor- nagorno Karabakh. I don't know where that Karabakh. is, but you're saying that's uh, a place where people feel more free than the United States? Trailing that place, yes. Okay. So there's only 10 nations experienced as sharp of a drop as the U.S. in terms of uh, satisfaction of citizens with their level of freedom. Egypt, Greece, Italy, Venezuela, Cyprus, the Czech Republic. Who's number one? That's what I want to know. Yeah, um, it, this, this, uh, I, I didn't see that on what this was the, uh, list. What was the organization that was doing this poll? Gallup. Gallup. Okay. Um, Yemen, Pakistan, and Spain. All of these countries experienced a lot of economic turmoil in the period of time that we're talking about mm-hmm. here. And I think that this is, you know, this satisfaction with freedom might be a satisfaction with life in general, if that makes sense. Hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what these people are saying because the problem with the term freedom and I would love to hear people call in and tell me what they mean by freedom when they hear freedom. When you're celebrating freedom on July 4th, what are you celebrating exactly? Because I don't know. Um, hmm. I mean, I have a definition of freedom. I doubt these people operate under that same definition. I have the list, Mark, from Gallup.com. Countries with the highest levels of satisfaction with freedom in 2013. Number one. New Zealanders? New Zealand. Yeah, that's 90, often R. Yeah. 94% satisfied. Australia following that with 93%. Cambodia with 93% at number three. They're happy about that whole thing, huh? Uh, Sweden at number... Oh, wait, excuse me. I'm reading these incorrectly. Uh, New Zealand is ranked at number one. Australia, Cambodia, Sweden all tied for second place at 93%. Below that, it drops to fifth place with the United Arab Emirates, Austria... Netherlands, Uzbekistan, all tied for fifth, and then tied for ninth place, Canada, Iceland, Finland, and Denmark. That's your top ten of the places in the world where people feel satisfied that they're free. They're all, um, other than us, Uzbekistan, which I'm not familiar with, um, they're all pretty affluent places, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. So, What about Cambodia? I don't know. I mean, you know, Cambodia didn't stick out in my mind either. As, uh, that doesn't uh, make me think place. affluent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, but what is freedom? Freedom to me doesn't mean affluence. That's true. Necessarily, mean you can be affluence. free and uh, happy and also poor. Right. Lots of people choose or broke. I w- guess. Would choose not to work if they had the choice, and mm-hmm. uh, they would not be particularly wealthy. It's true. So I don't know. I find it very interesting, and I'd like to. I'd like people to just tell me what they think freedom means. This mm. is the weekend for that, I suppose. Is freedom explosives? Is it barbecue? Uh, you know, I think is, it includes both of those. Is things. freedom independence from England? Because I think England's higher on this list than the United States <laughs> is. I don't know. I find all these things confusing. These would be interesting questions to ask folks on Independence Day. And if you'd like to get your thoughts in here, you're welcome to join us at 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN toll-free line, 855-450-3733. How do you define freedom? What does freedom mean to you? What does it mean to be free? You can answer any one of those questions or uh, some other variant. There's a, a 7% drop in confidence in the presidency um, over mm. uh, this, I guess, uh, since June 2013. So in a relatively mm. wow. short period of time, there's been a large drop in the uh, the confidence in the presidency of the United States. And I don't know why particularly Barack Obama gets all the blame for how things go around here. But, uh, you know, I, I would say that there's been a lot of scandals in this particular administration. When you look Heather? at... Yeah, there's the IRS thing. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole list of them. I could mm-hmm. go through them, but there's there's been a lot. I mean, he basically broke constitutional law in his uh, helping uh, Europe attack Libya, mm. and uh, you know there was uh, uh, I don't know another. Well, constitutional apparently he didn't break recently. any laws. He's not in jail. No, well, I don't know what to tell you about that. <laughs> uh yeah. Well, isn't he a constitutional attorney? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's the problem with attorneys. They uh, they yeah. give opinions, and then, you know, you get 10 attorneys, you get 11 opinions. Mm-hmm. Share your thoughts. Uh, is there more, Mark, to this summary over at the uh, Christian Science Monitor that you wanted to share with us? No, I think that that's, that's the meat of it all. Um, I, I think it's the economy and the presidency appears to be what it all is about here. 
Toll free number again, 855 450 free. And I would also uh, point out that the drop in support of the presidency isn't Republicans because the Republicans haven't supported uh, Obama up to this point anyway. Generally, you see a drop in the, um, uh, the, 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 support of the president in the last two years of their mm-hmm. presidency anyway we're coming up on that perhaps he's just getting the chickens are coming home to roost a little um little sooner because of all the scandals that have gone on whether they're his fault or not i don't know they've happened under his administration cambodia by the way the gdp i pulled up here from the cia world Factbook. gdp per capita $2,600 in 2013 dollars not great yeah but apparently they're the third in the world for people who believe satisfied they're free, satisfied with their freedom. Cambodia. I thought they were second, tied with tied for second. You're right. I'm sorry. They're listed third on the list, but they're tied for second. So pretty interesting stuff. Uh, anyway, back to the question at hand here, which is, you know, what is it that freedom means to you? How do you define it? And do you have it? Do you feel satisfied? Like the question on this uh, survey, do you feel satisfied with your level of freedom? Or do you feel oppressed? I can tell you that it, you know, I appreciate the fact that I'm in a more free place than a lot of places around the globe. There's no doubt. I appreciate the fact that we can get on the air and talk about the things that we talk about here. I know in some places that would not be tolerated. So it's good to to appreciate the good things. But at the same time, there are things wrong here. And it's not, there's nothing wrong with pointing them out. We'll come back with more here in moments, and you can share your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, 855-450-3733. It's Free Talk Live. There's a lot of confusing information out there about Bitcoin mining. Customers have been burned by companies taking their money on pre-orders for Bitcoin mining equipment, only to receive their equipment late and miss out on opportunities to mine Bitcoins. But that doesn't mean Bitcoin mining is impossible. You just have to find an honest company to do business with. If you want to mine Bitcoins and you want to do it now, no pre-orders, no waiting. Look into the Ant Miner products from Bitmain. Their competitively priced Ant Miners are in stock and ship from the U.S. as soon as you pay. You could buy an ant miner today and be mining bitcoins tomorrow. The ant miner line offers the best mining power per dollar currently available. 20% of the mining power in the bitcoin network is contributed by ant miners. Not only that, but Bitmain is committed to support. You can get tech support and warranty service over the phone by calling 844-BITMAIN. For commercial accounts, they'll even travel to your data center to install your equipment. Get all the details at bitmaintech.com. That's bitmaintech.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a Droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your Droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the Droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people, like when the jeweler ruined my ring and wouldn't do anything about it. But when my Legal Shield attorney called him and told him what my rights were, I received a check for over $2,100. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. Again, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kids' education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis, battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It is the post Independence Day edition of the show. We're live on this Saturday evening. Of course, you can take control of the airwaves at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Don't forget to join us online over at freetalklive.com. You can enjoy the features that we have waiting for you on the site, freetalklive.com. Create the content right there on the front page. You submit it to the site. Others can vote it up or down, whether they like or dislike, and you get to vote on things as well. Just go to freetalklive.com, link up your Free Talk Live account with your Reddit account, and it'll make it easy from that point forward to submit content there at freetalklive.com. And if you need focus and are feeling fatigued and trying to get that extra edge when it counts, you need to learn about modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory fighting off fatigue and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about Modafinil from modup.net and how it's making a difference in their work, giving them the critical edge that they need. Check out modup.net and look into it for yourself. There's fast delivery worldwide for guaranteed high-quality Modafinil at an amazing price, and modup.net is a supporter of the Bitcoin community. Order with Bitcoins and save 33% at modup.net. Make the deal even better. Use code FTL, and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. So again, use code FTL at modup, M-O-D-U-P, dot net. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if a local prescription requirements and laws apply. So look into it for yourself. We're sure that modup.net offers great service at a great price. That's modup.net with code FTL. So, again, our toll-free number uh, tonight is 855-450-FREE. Let's go to your calls and thoughts about whatever's on your mind. It's Don in Tallahassee listening to WVFT. Hey, Don. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Great. Go ahead with your thoughts, Don. Well, listen, uh, I'd like to digress for about five seconds. Go ahead. And sometime in the new, near future, I'd like you to do a show on Bitcoins because I hear you talking about that and – and since I only catch parts of your show intermittently, I'm usually in my car mm. and I hear mm. a little bit. And I don't, I don't really know what bitcoins are. If it's actually a newsmatic. Well, I, I uh, don't want to do a whole show about bitcoins. Although I would like to point out, we are going to be uh, live from the North American Bitcoin Conference here in a couple of weeks, and that's going to be a, those two shows are going to be pretty heavy uh, Bitcoin shows. But they also won't okay. necessarily be introductions to Bitcoin. We'll be talking about some of the side technologies and other things that are being developed around Bitcoin. But I'm happy to spend um, some time ans- a- answering a-, a few specific questions yeah. for you. Like what so is Bitcoin? You asked if it was numismatic. And a numismatic, most people don't know what that means either. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? A-, a numismatic is a collector's coin that is made of some uh, you know, metal of value. Usually, we're It usually talking- has a date on it too, right? A numismatic? Yeah, uh, cl- yeah. Yes, okay. A numismatic would have a date on it. And it would have some precious value. I mean, value in its in and of itself, intrinsic value. It's not like a, a Federal Reserve note, which is 
you know, actually uh, phony money. It's like monopoly money. It's, it's mm -hmm. Well, the Federal Reserve money. has intrinsic value because paper is worth something. Um, you could wipe your butt with it. Right. So, uh, you know, I don't know what intrinsic means. There's a lot of uh, argument in, in the monetary world about what intrinsic value is. But a Bitcoin is a, it's a thing on the Internet. It is, uh, if you can imagine, you've uh, a video game where you've got a little uh, gnome who mines for gold coins. Those gold coins that you can, say, purchase better pickaxes or something for your gnome, those coin gold coins are a currency within that game. The Bitcoin is a currency for the Internet. Now, you can buy things at uh, Newegg.com, which is a computer dealer, or um, several, uh, let's see, Overstock.com Overstock Overstock is another uh, you know company that takes Bitcoins. And there's plenty of companies that will sell you gift cards to places like Walmart and uh, Exxon Mobil gas stations and uh, grocery stores and things like that for Bitcoin. So a Bitcoin is a currency on the internet that is not issued by any government and it can't be inflated. And this is the most important aspect of it is, is that it's not controlled or inflated by any government or bank. And so, well, it can be inflated. There's a, a slow trickle of bitcoins coming out so, over time. But, well, so is gold. But it's a predictable inflation rate. It's not controlled by some sort of governmental body. There, are, there are a lot of parallels between bitcoin and gold. Um, you know, people that tend to like gold tend to like bitcoin after they spend a little time sort of getting to understand it. Well, one of the big things that I didn't understand first about bitcoin probably comes back to Don's uh, position on intrinsic value. My first a big objection to bitcoin was. There's nothing backing it. And but what backs a gold coin? Well, right. But beyond that, what's the other thing that Bitcoin is? So you mentioned that Bitcoin is a decentralized currency for the Internet. But the other thing Bitcoin is is a financial transaction network. So that's kind of the intrinsic value of Bitcoin is that it has this humongous network that cannot be taken down. It's decentralized, so it's being operated on hundreds of thousands of uh, computers all around the world. It's essentially untouchable, and if it could be touched, it certainly would have by now. Um, it's very, very strong. It's cryptographically secure, and this financial transaction network is very effective, and so that's that's one of the things that brings value to Bitcoin. Well, it works. And it does more transaction than PayPal currently. There's more daily transactions, uh, transaction volume on Bitcoin than there is on PayPal. So that's a kind of a basic idea on Bitcoin. Uh, did we at least explain a little bit to you? Well, it's probably as clear as mud right now, but <laughs> I'm trying to figure out still what, what gives it. You say somebody will give you... Uh, bitcoins uh, for a gift certificate at Walmart. Well, see, I can understand that at Walmart, I can if I can take my Federal Reserve notes or or whatever, I can exchange that, you know, for certain goods. Now, it doesn't necessarily hold to that value, so that's why I don't understand. Are these coins? In other words, do you trade in these things like like supposing it was a wooden nickel? I, you know, we can call anything a value, but I mean, as long as people will accept it, yep. if they accept bitcoins. And I can understand that, but if you, if you do, you, is this, are these coins that you actually have, or do you just have like an accounting system you, where uh, essentially they you have an account it? on the internet? Um, they are assigned okay. to that account. The bitcoins are assigned to that account, and the bitcoins never move. I think that the worst thing about bitcoins is that somebody called them coins. Um, they're they're not coins. Coins are <laughs> round pieces of metal. <laughs> um, they are something different. They're an online cryptocurrency, and they're assigned to okay. you, and you have total Total control over them, right? Okay. When you have a that Bitcoin, makes a more sense. yeah. So what you do is you go and get a Bitcoin wallet at a website like blockchain.info, and this uh, web wallet that you have can actually be installed. If you have a smartphone, you can get a version of it for your smartphone. You can actually have a right there on your phone. You can have a way to send and receive uh, bitcoins to people all around the the globe. And it's so yeah. it's so convenient and it works so well. You know, one of the hassles with cash is you have to make change, but with Bitcoin, there's no change necessary. You can get the exact amount that you want down to eight decimal places. So it's just incredibly effective. And people around the world are accepting it, and it is an international currency, which is another big uh, win. So think about, for instance, uh, sending money. If you've ever sent money to somebody uh, via, say, Western Union, you ever done that before? Only in, in 
America, but I know that it goes worldwide. In know, America, that's... it's very expensive, and it's more expensive if you oh, do yeah. it internationally. I remember when I did it, I sent 50 bucks to somebody, and they charged me $30 on top of that as a, a convenience fee or whatever. That's what, that was their fee. So the, the, uh, the fees for sending money can be absolutely outrageous if you're using the old transaction networks, the old U.S. dollar-based and uh, other countries' networks. But uh, with Bitcoin, I can send money to anybody anywhere in the world for literally pennies uh, for a fraction of the cost of sending it through Western Union or MoneyGram or some of those other players. And so really, the potential there for uh, saving people money and being able to more easily transfer money in and out of different countries is very, very exciting. Uh, there's a lot of things that Bitcoin does that uh, essentially disrupts and undermines the status quo money system. And essentially it takes right. the power out of the hands of the bankers and the governments of the world and puts power into people's hands. So there's a lot of real big concepts involved with Bitcoin. So, you know, on the kind of the lower level concept, it's, oh, it's a digital currency that's decentralized. The higher level concept is this is a tool for freedom. This is this is something that can make people more free by using Bitcoin. There are things that you can do that wouldn't be possible or as easy with uh, with U.S. government currency. One example, of course, is the underground drug markets that have sprung up on uh, the the uh, the Tor anonymous system on uh, online, where people are able to buy and sell various products and services pretty much anonymously with one another using Bitcoin. That's bringing a level of safety to the black market that has never existed before. So people's lives are, li are literally being saved by this technology. Anyway, any other uh, questions we can answer for you right out the gate? Well, actually, I didn't mean to deviate from your subject so much. I just, uh, while I had the opportunity, I thought I'd ask it, and I got my money's worth, my Bitcoin's worth, I guess. Well, if you uh, want to tip us, and you get, if you ever get some Bitcoin, you want to send us a tip, you can go to our Bitcoin tip jar at bitcoin.freetalklive.com. Yes. Don, thanks for the call tonight, man. Uh, just, hold on over here. He, he, he had something else you want to talk yes, about? Yes, please. Hold well, him yeah, over to the next. To, uh, All right, well, hang well, on, Don. We'll bring you back here in a moment. 855-450, freeze the toll-free number. We'll get to Don here. And, yeah, I don't mind Bitcoin questions. That doesn't bother me. You, don't always, you, don't, you never have to apologize for changing the topic on Free Talk Live. It's what we do here. Hour two's next. Free Talk Live. You know Bellawood Flooring for its beauty and durability. And now at Lumber Liquidators, Bellawood Flooring is on sale. Get 10% off every Bellawood pre-finished floor, including solid hardwood, ultra-strand bamboo, and Bellawood mat with a unique oil-finished look. Save big on pre-finished hardwood at just $169 a square foot and black forest laminate for only $0.49. Cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Over 70 flooring deals and special 12-month financings available. But hurry, this sale ends Tuesday. Hi, Chuck. Chuck Woolery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, July 4th, 2014. Gold is trading today around $1,313. 
silver at $20.92, and Bitcoin at $624.43. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Online, accountableauthority.com. In the news, the Supreme Court has decided to review a case involving American multinational corporation Halliburton and former subsidiary KBR for billing the U.S. government for services allegedly never completed. Benjamin Carter, a former employee with KBR's reverse osmosis water purification unit in Iraq, accused the military contractors of falsely billing the government for water purification services on military bases in Iraq. Carter stated Halliburton and KBR made false statements in order to get fraudulent claims paid by the government. A number of Internet service and communications providers have joined up with British civil rights group Privacy International in a lawsuit filed Wednesday against the British GCHQ. Privacy International partnered with U.S. companies Rise Up and May 1st People Link, the U.K.'s Green Net, the Dutch Greenhost, Zimbabwe's Mango, South Korea's Jinbonet, and Germany's Chaos Computer Club to sue the British government over the Tempora program and the NSA's PRISM program. According to documents leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden, Tempora involves tapping major internet cables around the globe. All providers involved in the suit cater specifically to activists and organizers. The city of Houston is launching a partnership with local business owner John Vuong to build a new grocery store in a southeast Houston food desert. On Monday, Houston Mayor Anise Parker, City Council members Stephen Costello and Dwight Boykins, and the Houston Redevelopment Authority broke ground on the new project scheduled to open in 2015. Pyburn's Farm Fresh Foods will be required to provide at least 25 jobs to residents in the area. Mayor Parker stated that two-thirds of Houstonians are overweight or obese, and a high percentage are believed to be uh, living in food deserts without access to fresh food. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Brave New Books, now offering Pro Pure Water Filtration, the only gravity driven all in one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, BraveNewBookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, July 4th, 2014. Make sure you check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. The Oregon Right to Know campaign has succeeded in gathering enough signatures to place an initiative to label genetically engineered products on the November ballot. The campaign filed 150,000 signatures in support of Ballot Initiative 44, which would force food producers to label GE foods sold in Oregon. In the past year, Connecticut, Maine, and Vermont have been states that successfully passed GE labeling bills. A new study by Duke University found that bisphenol A, or BPA, a toxic chemical that leaches from plastic, helps some breast cancer cells grow and can even help make them resistant to modern chemotherapy. That report from Natural News. In the Duke study, inflammatory breast cancer cells showed resistance to prescription chemotherapy drugs when BPA was present. The plastic chemicals rendered the drugs worthless, sparking continued growth in cancer cells. Researchers also believe BPA might be one of the underlying forces for the cause of cancer growth in the first place, with more than 5 million pounds of the chemical being pumped into U.S. products each year. After 10 days of marching to protest a new water law, a coalition of indigenous activists and organizations reached the capital of Ecuador. The organizations gathered in Quito to form a People's Assembly and develop a strategy for opposing a law passed by Congress that they say will give large corporations priority access to water resources. The coalition believes the law will lead to complete privatization of the water in Ecuador. President Rafael Correa denies the claims and accused the groups of working for an opposition party. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal, affordable high-quality printing. Now accepting Bitcoin, online, massappeallink.com. And support comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. Homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, July 4th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile.
So, Shelby, let's start with you. You say that our bogs and marshes should actually be paved over. That's right. Absolutely, Brooke. These things are nothing but dead body dumping pits that make life easy for murderers. And it's disgusting to me that sickos like Mr. Popkin actually want to protect these things. All right, well, Mr. Oh, Popkin, yes. how do you respond to this? Bogs and marshes are important ecosystems that should be protected. I mean, oh. they're, they're, they're already being endangered. Whoa, uh, excuse me. As long as these human landfills remain open for business, what we're essentially saying to the criminal element is, sure, do whatever you like, and throw the evidence here in this federally protected black hole. Okay. I testified before Senator Chuck Grassley, who wanted to lift federal protection uh, uh, on these lands, and what right. I told him is exactly what uh -huh, I'm going to tell you now. And where is Chuck Grassley right now, sir? Uh... Could it be that he's sitting at the bottom of a bog somewhere? Why else would you be so hot on these wetlands if you aren't a murderer yourself? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. What does freedom mean to you? That was kind of one of the bigger questions that we asked in the last hour. You're welcome to give us your thoughts on this day after Independence Day. As we are here live on this Saturday edition of the program, we really didn't get into the Independence Day topic last night uh, on the show. So here we are tonight. You can, of course, take control of the airwaves at 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free and brought to you by ProXPN. By the way, with you here tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. Let's go to your phone calls. We actually had Don in Tallahassee on the line here listening to WVFT-FM. And, Don, you had called in about something else, but you wanted to ask some questions about Bitcoin. We we went through the yeah. Bitcoin topic, and uh, Mark and reminded me at the end of the call that you had something else. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, I was uh, concerning your poll about the, you know, the 10 freest countries in the world. And, and I guess when you got to Cambodia, I said, well, wait a minute, you know? I mean, how are they measuring freedom? I mean, you know, my... My dad told me before he died, he says, you know, it's not the form of government you live under, but the amount. And, you know, that's a that's a, a total government. Pol Pot murdered two million of his own people there. And it's, it's no different from, I think, Cuba or China or anything like that. And so I'm really wondering how, how they measure their freedom. I mean, if someone came to you and had a gun in your face and says, do you feel free? And those guys says, Oh yeah, we're we're most certainly free. Then 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 that that poll has been skewed, and a lot of these places that have, you know, like what we have now, free health care. Well, it's not really free. They force you to buy a government plan. I think of freedom as the ability to make choices economically, to come and go, uh, and travel. And if you read uh, Karl Marx's Ten Points for Taking Over Developed Nations, it lists all the goals that he said had to be accomplished before you could Sovietize America. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what it was. You know, it, it's free education where they can indoctrinate people. They're not, you know, uh, a central bank, uh, a graduated income tax. Uh, you go down the list, all all those 10 planks have been taken. Well, so America, almost we, all of them have been implemented. We did it a few years ago, and I think we had eight and a half is yeah, what we, we decided. Um, but yeah, I, I would agree with you. Now, the poll is the perception of the people in a particular country as to how the, their freedom affects them. Do so, they feel free? Do they feel do satisfied? They, do with they their feel freedom? free? So I, I think that, the, you know, maybe, and I, I've never been to Cambodia. I haven't studied Cambodia. I don't know a lot about Cambodia. When you say Cambodia, the only thing I think of is Pol Pot too. But one of my thought processes is uh, who's going to appreciate freedom more is probably somebody who was re underneath you know, abject tyranny relatively recently. I mean, if you hand a uh, submarine sandwich to the average person, you're going to find that the hungriest people enjoy it the most, mm -hmm. and the uh, the fullest people are like, ah, I wish it hadn't had pickles. You know, um, so, you know, maybe that's what we're dealing with here. I don't know. Yeah. Well, anyhow, good show. Thank you so much, Thanks, sir. Thanks, Don. Appreciate your call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I have to say I like Don's definition of freedom, the ability to uh, come and go, the ability to make economic choices. These are good things. These are definitely freedom-oriented things. And you're right, Mark. We did look at the Karl Marx list of uh, 10 planks of the Communist Manifesto. And uh, and I think you're right. It was like eight and a half several years ago when we ran it down to see we how probably many should had do been, it again just for kicks. How many had been fully 
implemented within the United States. Remember, we've also looked at the uh, Ten Amendments of the U.S. Constitution, the first ten, the Bill of Rights, to see how many of those are still in effect. And uh, really, it was it was like not, um, well, one out of uh, ten. Was it's still only in because effect. we didn't know that much about the Third Amendment. Yeah. Um, the fact is, is that soldiers have been billeted in uh, residences in Puerto Rico. Mm. So you know, there you go. There's a violation there. Yeah. Um, it's uh, you know, so yeah. All the, the, the all of the Bill of Rights is basically been violated at this point, and almost all ten planks of the Communist Manifesto have been have been implemented in uh, in the United States. And now, apparently, the, according to Gallup, people in the United States are saying they feel less free than about eight years ago. Yeah, I wonder, to, to me, I don't think the United States is particularly less free from 2006. I don't think so either. But I, can, I would say that it's less free than 2001. Mm -hmm. um it i remember we would we would get on planes you'd have to take your shoes off and and a whole variety of things that uh, have changed the the lines from just a few metal detectors to and i i remember when they didn't have these things at all but uh, a few metal detectors to this uh you know this this stop in east, east germany that everybody has to make in order to get on a plane mm -hmm. i i mean i find it to be very disturbing and I think that to, to a large extent, they took the same employees that were already in place prior to 9-11, and they just essentially deputized them from the federal government and called them, uh, you know, important. And then you saw the changes. So once you give somebody that power, I mean, you, you think of the Milgram experiment where people were told by scientists and lab coats that you— you must continue um, the experiment or whatever the, the terminology was for them continuing to zap people, um, provide electronic shocks to people until they died in many cases. People bow to authority. Authority is an amazing thing. Uh, I mean, It doesn't even exist. It's it doesn't exist. It's just, a, it's just a tone of voice. It's a, it's a lab coat. It's a, it's a hat. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's just this thing. You know, why is Barack Obama a more important person than you or I? He's not. He's not. But stop thinking of him as though he is. He lives in that big white house that He's they built. He's got men with guns who will defend his life. Indeed. But that doesn't really matter to my life. I mean, I've, no, I don't really care about him. So... But a lot of people do. A lot of right. people look at the president, whoever that, whoever the man happens to be or woman, uh, you know, whoever that person happens to be, and they have this awe for that person, for that human being. They're it's special. The, they're we elected them to lead our nation, which is just a bunch of hooey all thrown together. Why do you say that? Why is it hooey? Well, <laughs> Aren't they the leader of the free world? Who's we? Uh, the voters? The voters? Nope. Uh, at least about half of the voters did not vote to uh, mm -hmm. have him ele elect to have him lead our nation. What is our nation? How did it become ours? You were born here. Uh, right. We were born inside of a, a polygon drawn on a map someplace. Um, you know, somehow that makes us better or something. Uh, and it's just a, it's it's all hooey. Mm -hmm. This whole nationalism elected official thing but that goes on. But it's very important hooey, Mark, to uh, the, st the power of the state, to the the entrenched powers, the people who are in control. It's very important to them that you believe in this stuff. Well, the fact is, is that you will, um, you'll idolize something more. You'll, you'll love something more if you sacrifice more for it. They found that people have a significantly higher satisfaction rating for cars that they paid significantly more for. Mm. These cars do the same stuff that our cars do. They have air conditioning, yeah. they have radios, they have four wheels, they propel in a certain direction. But the satisfaction rating is significantly more because you've sacrificed more. What have the people inside this geographic area called the United States sacrificed more for than this than country. Government. I mean, every single one of us has a family member who's died in what can probably be pointed out as a pointless war um, throughout American history. I, people always point to World War II. Mm -hmm. There's certainly plenty of pointless battles in World War II. My grandfather. Fathers actually made it through uh, the the wars they were in. God bless him. Uh, I had an uncle who died on uh, uh, Omaha Beach, but but it, almost all of us have somebody in our family who's been in the military and or has you know taken some sort of risk like that with the government. Indeed, and those are the sacrifices. Even if you haven't died, just the very fact that those people who fought 
had friends that died on those battlefields. Well, no also, one sacrificed more. How about the sacrifice of your time as well? I mean, even if you didn't die, you still spent four years or eight years or however long of your life in the service of politicians who inevitably sent you around the world to put your life on the line for their glorification and for the profits of the military-industrial complex. So talk about wasted time, wasted effort. All of those years, you or whoever that person was could have been in their home, their hometown, or wherever they wanted in the world doing something something productive with their time, doing something that creates, that creates jobs and creates products and services and brings new wealth to the world. But no, they spent those years doing the politicians bidding and yet they're supposed to be honored as heroes for it. Don't forget the um, the 13 years in government indoctrination centers oh, yeah. or huge or, waste of time or their private replicas. Um, I mean, what well, I. Oh, Mark, now you're saying you don't want to educate children, you darn libertarians. I love educating children. But what the, the government school system has uh, 20% of the graduates are functionally illiterate. I think you could destroy the whole system and do that bad. All right, toll-free number here tonight for your calls and thoughts about whatever's on your mind. Dial in at 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733, Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Many Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800-917-8251. 800-917-8251. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. 
Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free of this live Saturday edition. It is, of course, the post-Independence Day show. We're here live. Those other talk show hosts probably take the day off, the weekend off. But we're here to take your calls about whatever's on your mind. You can also join us via Skype. Our Skype username tonight is lrn.fm, so feel free to connect with us in that way. I mentioned earlier in the show when we were talking about Bitcoin that we're going to be at the North American Bitcoin Conference. It's happening in Chicago at the McCormick Place South Building. July 19th and 20th is where we will be, or when we will be there. The where, again, Chicago. You can get your tickets at btcchicago.com. And, of course, you can pay for them in Bitcoin. It's only $100 worth of Bitcoin at uh, btcchicago.com. Great speakers from the Liberty community, also the Bitcoin world. Peter Smith from blockchain.info. $100 a ticket. You said $100 a Bitcoin, and I don't know what that I means. I said in Bitcoin. Oh, I see. $100, as in $100 worth of Bitcoin. Sorry. Sorry if I wasn't clear. What I didn't hear, that's not what I heard, but go right ahead, please. Uh, so Jeff Berwick will be there from the Dollar Vigilante. Uh, Roger Veer, a.k.a. Bitcoin Jesus, he'll be there. Christina Gorlick from Cloud Hashing. Vitalik Buterin from Ethereum. These are just a sampling of the names of the folks, the movers and the shakers in the Bitcoin world that will be attending. And you could be there, too. This is the first convention of any sort of Bitcoin type in the Midwest. Yeah, as far as so- I know. Go and check out the details and get your tickets now at btcchicago.com, btcchicago.com, July 19th and 20th. That's two weeks. It's really kind of weird that the third largest metro in the United States hasn't had a Bitcoin event at it yet. Mm. Um, I mean, That may mean it'll be a very large turnout. I, likely. It's also going to be Free Talk Live's first broadcast in the Midwest, too. That's also true. The toll-free number tonight, 855 855- 450 free. So, what does freedom mean? We've talked about that, and that it is, you know, here on the post Independence Day edition. Never really had a chance to talk about it last night. And of course, one of my pet peeves on this day is when people call it the 4th of July. So, when I was out tonight doing outreach, I was out in front of a baseball game here in Keene, New Hampshire, ended up getting kicked off the property. But uh, before that, I managed to hand out uh, probably at least 100 flyers, if not more than that. And then once I was kicked off, I stood on the side of the road and handed out more at that point. So probably handed out a couple hundred or 300 uh, Independence Day flyers that uh, are created by an organization called the New Hampshire or Foundation for New Hampshire Independence. And the thing that's neat about these flyers is it, it essentially talks about secession Without using the term secession. So it talks about declaring into New Hampshire, declaring its independence and what the benefits of being free and independent from the United States would actually be. And I feel like today's a good day to go out and, and hit up people with this particular message. And That's so, what the Independence Day is about, secession. Right. Secession of the colonies from, um, you know, the, the crown. So uh, what I was saying to people as they were walking by was very simply, Happy Independence Day, and handing this information to them. And uh, the responses were mostly positive. I didn't get any nasty comments or anything like that. But, you know, what better time to have people really consider the idea of independence for their state? Uh, I think it's an idea that needs to be talked about seriously, and that is secession. It's one that uh, time has come again, and it uh, it has come, and it needs to happen on a peaceful basis this time. No more shooting at the federal troops. That's a, I mean, maybe it didn't really happen that way, but the story is the South shot again, shot at that fort in uh, Fort Sumter, and that did, didn't work out very well. No, that didn't work out well. Um, I mean, you know, what was uh, the North doing fortifying a fort that was in a, at that point, foreign country anyway? Mm. But, eh, you know, um, it, it, obviously firing on it didn't work out well for uh, the Confederates. I'd also like to say that 
I, I believe to some extent in providence. Uh, I know that this isn't necessarily where where you believe, um, Ian, but I do kind of sort of dif- believe in providence. And what is that? What is providence? providence means the hand of God, essentially, okay. and that you know sort of directing history to some extent. Hmm. And I don't believe that the South had the hand of God. Uh, they were they were might have been seceding, and they might have had the states' rights to secede. But it's pretty clear why they were seceding. They were hmm. seceding because over largely the right to own people. There were certainly tax, uh, you know, the, the North was being uh, punitive in, in taxation and a variety of reasons, but uh, there, four of the uh, states that seceded cited slavery right in their secession documents. There's no way to deny it. So I, I don't think that the momentum was there. I don't think that that besmirches secession in any way. How many mm-hmm. secession movements have there been since then? Well, I'm not talking about this country. There's a basically twice as many countries today as there was a hundred years ago. That's a lot of seceding that went, has gone on in the globe. And secession is just people who have some land deciding, you know what, we'd like to rule ourselves. Mm-hmm. And their central government can take that however they choose to take that. Generally, they take that poorly. And I would ask you why. Why do you think a central government doesn't want people to rule themselves that wish to? Would you like me to answer that question? Well, it's about it's about control and money. money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if uh, you know your state leaves the United States, then that's uh, probably billions of dollars fewer worth of uh, income to the United States federal government through the income tax. Well, that's because they believe they own you, body and soul. Um, They believe that they own your body. Otherwise, but they have to act like they don't. Well, yeah, but, but they really don't act like it. Think no, about it for don't. a second. They have a debt, right? That debt's mm-hmm. taken against, I assume, fewer ta- future taxes. Your labor. Where yeah. do the future taxes come from? Yeah. Well, they don't, they don't even come from me. At this point, with the, tri- the more than $10 trillion uh, in federal debt, they're taxing my son's child. He's six. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, these people have the hubris to not just tax you. They're surf, but they have the ta- they have the hubris to tax surfs into the future. They can't. Mi- they're so bad at managing their money that people. I mean, governments in general are so bad at managing their money that people believe the United States government's going to pay off this debt. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Wait, who really believes that? The banks that keep loaning them money, or you they think? just don't care. Yeah, I don't think they care. Maybe they, maybe the banks, the the Too people, the people of the banks are making so much money mm-hmm. in the loaning process itself that it doesn't matter. Well, of course, the Federal Reserve, as you know, uh, is tasked with being the lender of last resort. And the Federal, the Federal Reserve Federal is just a group of banks, a group of very successful banks, who has the power to print money from thin air. So yeah, what do they care? Right? Oh, you need more money? Okay. Mm-hmm. Write the check and uh, send it in, and they just create it from thin air, so right. no problem. So these... And, of course, the member banks, who aren't necessarily members of the Federal Reserve, the littler banks, they can still make money from thin air. They just have to have you know a certain amount in deposits, and then they can loan out nine times as much by just whisking it into existence. Poosh! Money. They also take out loans uh, from the Federal Reserve in the form of like mortgages and things like that through your signature. So they, they create all kinds of money in all kinds of ways. It's all very interesting, but I, you know, I mean, I wonder why they continue to loan the federal government money. Is it that they don't, they, they, th- they do think they're going to get paid back? I mean, do you, the listener, believe that the federal government, the United <laughs> States federal government, which has never not been in debt, is ever going to have the debt be lower than it is today? No way. I, and by lower, I mean ten percent lower than it is today. I no don't mean way. a little bit like the, the the what was it the surplus under the Clinton administration? Yeah. That was a tiny tiny fraction. That was of only the, on a budget. The, that didn't take, do anything to the debt. It might have it might have paid a slight amount against uh, the debt. The toll free number eight fifty five four fifty free. And how do you feel about secession? Is it time to do it again? What's the benefit of staying with the federal government? And it seems like they just take and destroy. Free talk live. 
Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com so you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot free talk live dot com you can interact with other lrn listeners in our message board at forum dot lrn dot fm that's forum dot lrn dot fm This is Free Talk Live. We have plenty of time for you to call in and take control of these airwaves toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Feel free to reach out in that way if you prefer. We talked about Bitcoin a little bit earlier, and one of the ways Bitcoin can help make you more free is through PassportsForBitcoin.com. There are a lot of reasons why someone like you might want a second passport, or to even go so far as to renounce citizenship. 
Last year was an all re- all-time record for people renouncing U.S. citizenship, and it's done all over the world. Whether it's governmental intrusion on privacy or protest against foreign policy, to protect your wealth, avoid pointless regulations, onerous taxation, or as a refuge, you might want to get a second passport or change your citizenship. Check out the St. Kitts program at PassportsForBitcoin.com. Now, obviously, they take Bitcoin, and uh, that's another way that uh, you can be more free. Passports. For Bitcoin.com, we can talk more about secession here in moments because I'd like to know from you why it shouldn't happen. What's wrong with the idea of secession? Because to me, it seems like all of the idea, you know, all of the the points are in the corner of secession. Well, so so, so I mean, you, what you have to ask is what secession is to some extent too. The United States seceded from Great Britain. Yeah. The South attempted to secede, I think did secede, uh, arguably, from wanna, the North. I want to see and, New Hampshire secede from the United but States. But all that included violence. The yeah. suggestion, remember what the suggestion is with, um, with revolution. Revolution simply says, if I am more successful at using violence than you are, then I am able to steal what you have. Because mm. the United States government was, wasn't formed out of consent. Nope. It would have to be conformed out of the consent of everyone, right? Because otherwise you if don't have wanted, consent. If it were to be legitimate in my mind, but obviously it didn't have to be formed by the consent of everyone. I don't they just see did how it. I don't see how anyone can call the consent of 51% of the people um, or 60% or whatever the percentage is uh, legitimate over it's just tyranny. Over the people that didn't consent. Tyranny of the majority. Let's go to Franklin in Bozeman listening to KMMS Montana. Hey Franklin. Yeah, what do I do when I go to Walmart? I say, here's a handful of good chip coins. Of bitcoins? bitcoins? Yeah. Well, first of all, what you can't put uh, you can't have a handful of bitcoins in general. They're in digital currency. So oh, well, I'm going to give them a check with bitcoins. There are, as I as I can tell, there aren't any check writing services uh, right, that have. So like, you can't use them at Walmart. It's well, it's getting hard to use true. checks anywhere at uh, in retail just locations. Say yes or no? Is that hard to say? You can use them at Walmart. What you need to do is go to a website called eGifter.com or G. No, 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 no. You, 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 you're skewing the deal. Okay. I'm walking into Walmart and I want to go up and buy a, a lawnmower. Okay, then no, you can't. And I'm going to give him bitcoins. Is he going to say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to take your bitcoins? No, Walmart as a company does not yet no, accept no, bitcoins. No, we're not going to do that, no. Okay. They're, they're worthless. All right. No, they're not worth. They're definitely not worthless. Right now, bitcoins are worth more than they're any. They're worthless to Walmart. Walmart's not going to accept them as currency. Okay. Okay. So what? What is your point? You can't use gold bars at Walmart well, either. Does that make gold a, bars worthless? You're selling a bonanza. What? Well, what are you selling? I mean, what, what are you selling? Uh, something to use? We sell advertising, but if you're asking what we're, what the Bitcoin is, Bitcoin is a uh, decentralized currency that is accepted at various different places around the world. Have you ever heard of uh, Dish Network, sir? Dish Network, and I don't shop. I don't shop at Dish Network. Okay, that's All fine. Right. I was just giving them as one example of one company. There are several I mean, of them. What, what do I care about Dish Network? Newegg.com. Oh, I care about there's my some... money. Okay. Well, Franklin. You're, you're telling me to go down and buy some I'm Bitcoin. not telling you to do anything, sir. I've Frank, never once told you to do anything. Yeah, you're saying it's a good deal. Franklin, there's going to be adopters in the Bitcoin curve. You can be at the early port, p- part of the curve, or you can be at the late part of the curve. It okay. sounds like you're more interested in being at the late part of the curve. It sounds like, uh, uh, what do you what, remember when we, we, Christmas you got a bottle of whiskey if you gave out two, you, get, you gave out one, you got back two, or whatever? Uh, that sounds like rambling to me. That. I'm not really sure what you're trying to say. Can you rephrase that? Do you remember when you, you at Christmas time, you would say, okay, look, I'm going to get a bottle of whiskey to this guy, but he's going to give me two. Never had that happen to me at Christmas Are you time. calling it a Ponzi scheme? Exactly. Okay, it's not a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> um, a Ponzi scheme is Social Security, but I'll bet you'll spend that check when it comes through. Um, maybe at Walmart. However, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bitcoin is a currency that people are willing to pay money for. You may not be willing to do it. 
The, the price was recently as high as six hundred and fifty dollars for one Bitcoin. Right now. Bitcoins are worth more. One Bitcoin is worth more than all of the other world currencies combined, sir. If that doesn't give you some indicator is, of how unique that is, this is. That is, that, is a, that, that is a fantastic thing. Yeah. But when I walk into Walmart, am I going to leave Bitcoins down on the cash? Not today, but maybe next year. Thanks for the call, Franklin. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You know, Visa and MasterCard didn't start with a million stores accepting Visa and MasterCard. No, it was, uh, it was American Express was ahead of the curve, and before that it was Diners Club. But yeah. I wouldn't have called those worthless. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's talk a little bit further, and we'll continue with your calls here in a moment, about what Franklin was getting at there, suggesting that, hey, this is a joke. Your currency's nonsense until Walmart takes it. And and there's no doubt, if Walmart next month announces that they're going to begin taking Bitcoin, that's a huge game changer it for Bitcoin. It would be a huge ja game changer. There's no doubt about it. I mean, Walmart's one of the top employers, if not the top employer in the United States. It's a huge company worldwide, and Bitcoin is an international currency. So, like, they should take Bitcoin because it would save them money. Walmart was actually interested. I don't know if you remember this years ago, Mark, when they were talking about starting their own Walmart bank. And the oh, Banking yeah. Regulatory Commission, when whatever state it was, refused to allow them to do that because they felt like uh, that Walmart would be too powerful or something. And really, Walmart's motivation was they wanted lower rates on credit card transaction processing. You know, they're paying 2% or whatever the amount is. They wanted to pay 1%. Well, with Bitcoin, they can pay less than 1% on transaction processing fees. You know, there was a time when Free, Free Talk Live started promoting Bitcoin back in, was it 2010? No. Yeah. I'll have to look at the dates. 2011. 2011? Okay. I have to look at the dates. And... You know, things were much more tenuous as far as Bitcoins. They could have gone one way. They could have gone the other. Um, frankly, now, sitting in 2014, I, I just, you know, I mean, you're choosing where you want to be on this adoption curve. Bitcoins have more transaction volume than PayPal. Uh, Bitcoins are accepted in major websites across America and some bricks-and-mortar stores. You don't have to buy everything that you buy on the Internet for Bitcoins to be of value. And they're going, it looks like they've got the momentum to really do something. You can choose to be on the front end of that and make some money in the process, or you can choose to be on the back end and really not lose anything. Franklin's not going to lose anything if he continues to go and use U.S. dollars to buy things at Walmart. Yeah, except the that's value what of the I dollars. Use. Yeah, but that's what I use at Walmart. Yep. I don't go generally to these websites and shift the, uh, shift my bitcoins into, uh, you know, gift cards. By although the way, I could. you're incorrect. Uh, you said you could go to eGifter, I think it was, or Gift.com and get Walmart cards. You cannot do that. That was last last. It was just a couple of weeks ago. You could. Uh, well, then that's not the case anymore. A gift had them up for a very short period of time, and they removed them. Uh, and I don't know about the eGifter site. I've never okay, been there. Okay, they, I just must, went they and had them up recently within the last couple few weeks. I'm going to call it three or four Who, weeks. eGifter? I'm not sure which one it was, okay. honestly. I know Gift had it up for a very short period of time, for like no more than a few within weeks. Within the last four weeks? Maybe about a month ago. Because I, okay. Well, that's, I'm sorry that I don't have that information. Yeah. Just, that get, just correcting that for you. But right. you can get Target gift cards. You can get all the crap that you want to get at Walmart, at Amazon, and you can do it uh, through e through gift cards at both of those places. Yeah. There you go. Well, Gift has Target cards. That's our uh, friend Derek J. Freeman. He shops only with Bitcoin, and so he buys gift cards through Gift.com. And he does um, it fabulously. And whenever I go to Amazon, I'm always paying from a gift card now. I mean, it's just so, it's so much easier. You don't have to put in credit card information. You just... Plop a gift card in your account, and then when you go back in, if you haven't spent it all, when you go to check out, it says, hey, do you want to use this remaining balance from your last gift card? Yep. Sure do. Right through. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number, 855-450-3733. Bitcoin's pretty amazing stuff, but we'll talk to you about anything here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase... 
10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenevention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want to discuss right here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, this live Saturday edition, the post-Independence Day wrap-up, uh, where we're talking about freedom and what it really means. What about secession? Isn't it time for that to happen again? And if you don't think so, then why not? Now, most people in America don't think that secession is the right thing to do. They they want to stick with this whole United States thing. Gosh darn it, it was a, the best country in the whole world. It is the best country in the whole world. Well, wait a minute. There's actually some ranking systems out there. Uh, the Economic Freedom Index of the World. Uh, the Heritage Foundation has one of them. Uh, the Fraser Institute has another one. And in neither of those two ranking systems does the United States fall even in the top ten anymore. In fact, it's been uh, lowering itself on that, that list. We've been dropping in a bad way 
on those lists. So, yeah, freedom, not so much of what it used to be. And maybe it never was what we thought that it was in the past, because certainly uh, the people who've been in charge of the government have always been people who want to control others and foist themselves on others and live off of the productivity of others and people like you. So why stick with it? It's a failed plan, isn't it? I mean, isn't it obvious by now that this experiment of the United States is an abject failure in so many ways? Well, it might be an abject failure in the area of freedom um, at this point. But, uh, I mean, you know, there have been times in U.S. history around surrounding usually wars where freedom contracts and then will over time increase. So you'll see like the um, it's not the Alien and Sedition Act, but that was uh, certainly one of those times. Um, there was another there was another act around World War One where they were hunting people down. There was the Red Scare. And, you know, the freedom contracted at that time. It has grown at times, too. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the government's loosened its uh, its leash, as it were. So I, I don't I don't know if you can just look at that and, and make a conclusion. Toll-free number. Your thoughts welcome. 855-450-FREE. Whether you want to talk about secession or the Westboro Baptist Church, which we started the show out with, bitcoins, whatever's on your mind goes. Dave is in California. You're on Free Talk Live listening to KGOE. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Well, guys, I have been pondering as seriously as I can the question of whether or not secession might be an answer. I'm certainly one of those people that's very concerned. I believe our federal government has gone completely corrupt. It no longer acts in the interest of the people. I mm-hmm. believe it's the government that gets us into wars for profit. Dave, did it ever act, act within the interest of the people, people who are not in the government? I believe they have. I believe we have been fortunate to have had both our founding fathers and some other White House occupants that have done their best to benefit the people. I believe that has happened. You know, the founding fathers, really there for it. Well, the Founding Fathers, one of the things that I find interesting is George Washington led the Continental Army uh, as in a war of secession and then sent uh, what's it, Harry Lee. This was, I think, the grandfather of uh, General uh, General Lee um, on in, you know, against the Whiskey Rebellion. So there was a rebellion. He, he led a rebellion and then sent troops against a rebellion. Hypocrite much? Harry Lighthorse. Harry Lighthorse. Please, Lee. Thank I you please. so much. I, I you know, was it actually was his father. Was it father? Thank but, you. You know, yeah. The uh, two major things come to mind. I do believe that if we wanted to, uh, if we have a state that we have some faith in, example perhaps Vermont, where you believe that 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 state government of Vermont is actually doing the right thing by the people, and uh, if that's the case, could Vermont succeed? Could others, people of other states, say that's, I think, the state I want to be a part of? What happens, though, if your state has military bases of their own? By Good the question. I believe, I believe Burlington has, uh, they're at least close to uh, some Air Force base because they, uh, you know, there's there's some protest going on about the F-35 up here. There's some kind of base in New Hampshire, as I understand it, too. Pease, I, I believe, has been shut down. Hey, thanks, Dave, for the call tonight. But that, that is a good question. What do you do about the military bases? I think you, you ignore them for a period of time. Mm-hmm. I mean, somehow Cuba's managed to be autonomous. I'm not going to call them free by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. But they're autonomous with, um, with, with the U.S. military base right on the island yeah i mean it would essentially turn uh, if new hampshire were to secede that the next day we would we'd have an occupation i guess at that point we'd be occupied by the uh, the u.s military so that would be a kind of a See, sticky th- situation and this is kind of what my point is is what is secession what is it it's saying goodbye to the united states we're no longer going to be uh, beholden to your laws your ordinances or whatever they call it the code the us code we're no longer going to send you income tax money that's what we're it no really comes down follow to follow your ordin- your ordinances well they, they decide when they enforce their rules mm-hmm. and they can enforce the rule of whatever whatever rule they want including the rule of you're not allowed to leave because the supreme court's decided that you know once they a state that, that that the us constitution is a suicide pact that once once a state signs on, you can never leave. Um, and they've decided that. So what it really comes down to is the choice of paying U.S. income taxes. Now, we have uh, – we've looked at 
this a lot. Now, there's some t- some other taxes. There's uh, there's U.S. taxes on gasoline and cell phones, and there's probably a few more that uh, you pay and you really can't avoid them. But the income tax is one that that people fill out the form. Now, consider for a second that there's only I think it was 2009 that I was able to look at the years because it's hard to get these numbers. I haven't looked terribly recently, but in 2009, there were 144 million tax returns filed. There are 310 million people in the United States. I don't know. You can file jointly, so I can't say that fewer than half of the people in the United States file an income tax mm-hmm. reform form, but I would say that fewer than two-thirds do, or fewer than a third do, more than a third choose not to file an income tax form. Okay. Now, I don't know if they're too old, too young, drug dealers, students, make too little, but I can tell you a lot of people who work for themselves just don't file, and the federal government does nothing about it. Great. I'd like to have the entire state of New Hampshire not file. Let's go to Jeff in Wisconsin, listening to WCLO in Janesville. Hey, Jeff. Hey, I was just calling to say that, uh, well, one of my ideas of freedom is that if I don't like what you guys say on the radio, I can just turn the channel. Indeed. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, well, you know, what I really think is that um, I do believe in the Constitution, and, uh, you know, if if things don't work out for my guy when we vote, you know, well, oh, well, then we'll just have to, you know, work harder the next time to get, you know, who we like, you know, into power to do whatever they want to do. But well, they it, do whatever they want to do. That certainly is true. <laughs> now, looking back in the right. last several but, elections that you've been a, an adult for, Jeff, um, you know, have you ever really felt like your guy won? And, and did he do what he wanted? Did he do what he wanted or did he, he do you, what you wanted? No, my my guy didn't win ever. But, uh, Your guys never won. Well, uh, no, that's no, not the last. Oh, I thought you said the last one. Election. No, all of the uh, elections that you've been an adult for. Yeah, you know the there was one or two that I voted for that um, they did some of the things that I wanted them to do, and Is I this wouldn't say Wisconsin that, you know, level or federal level. Uh, federal, because I haven't always lived in Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, Give me an example. What was so, one thing that you felt like a politician you voted for who actually got elected did? And who was it? Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's a tough question. Wow. Um, Oftentimes, I mean, I mean, you think it would have been memorable. I mean, it, that, that a politician actually did what they promised they were going to do. I mean, I would think you'd be able to easily just snap to an answer on that one. But go ahead. Get, we'll give you a moment to think about read it. Read my lips. <laughs> okay. You can, uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can put me on the uh, on the grill, as so to speak, and uh, yeah, I will, I will try to think as I try to be witty, as as witty as you guys are. Well, because it seems of, to uh, me, Jeff, that uh, the politicians are always lying, and they uh, they never fulfill their promises, and they go, in fact, in well, a lot of cases, you know, the know, opposite and, of and what they I, promised. That is, um, that is something that I totally think that it's there's there's a sham there. Mm-hmm. Yes, but. Um, but the Constitution if, if works. You're, if you're not willing to get up to the voting booth Whoa. and do your part, and, and 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 get in your community and do what you think is necessary to get what you think is right for your community, you know, local community, then then, well, how can you believe in the system at all if you're not willing to do your share? I don't particularly so. believe in the system, but I do believe in using resources that are available to one. So um, yeah. I, I vote. Um, I will go to the polls and vote during the pr- primary here for, um, you know, the, the the candidates, and I'll pick the, the least objectionable liar and thief, um, and I will likely vote for them. I will go up to Concord are, in my uh, state, and I will vote for the state platform um, because I'm a delegate to the state convention i get out and do it we'll, um, but i still think the system is broken and full of thieves can i can i ask you this then if you think that the system is so broken are you willing to to relocate i mean is that stand by that jeff i'm gonna bring to you do? back here want to make sure we have a chance to get your question out and get a good answer here so hang on we're gonna hold you through Thank the you. news in moments more with jeff are you willing to move mark that's a good question more coming up it's free talk live 
This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Hi, Chuck Woldery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, July 5th, 2014. Silver is trading at $21.15 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,321 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $632. Antiwar.com reports, since ditching their ceasefire at the start of the week, Ukraine's military is back to launching massive military offensive against eastern regions and reported 13 soldiers were killed yesterday in the fighting. Fighting, as usual, centered around the city of Slovyansk, and the military claimed to have seized one nearby town, though the city itself remains completely out of their control. Though the military is nowhere near retaking the capital of the rebellion, Donetsk, the city's outskirts did come under fire for military shelling, damaging key portions of their drinking water system, and forcing the city to limit reliable water supplies across the city to five hours a day. The Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts have been effectively out of the government control for months now, with rebellions erupting after the ouster of the previous government. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. The BBC reports Norway is ending trials of electronic voting systems used in national and local elections. Experiments with voting via the net were carried out during the elections held in 2011 and 2013, but the trials have ended because, the government said, voters' fears about their votes becoming public could undermine democratic processes. Political controversy and the fact that the trials did not boost turnout also led to the experiment ending. In a statement, Norway's Office of Modernization said it was ending the experiments following discussion in the nation's parliament about the efforts to update voting systems. The statement said, although there was a broad political desire to let people vote via the internet, the poor results from the last two experiments had convinced the government to stop spending money on more trials. The 2013 trial was also controversial because immediately prior to the election, criticism was leveled at the encryption scheme used 
to protect votes being sent across the net. Software experts called for the entire voting system to be rewritten to better protect data. A report looking into the success of the 2013 trial said about 70,000 Norwegians took the chance to cast an e-vote. This represents about 38% of the 250,000 people across 12 towns and cities who were eligible to vote online. However, it said there was no evidence that the trial led to a rise in the overall number of people voting, nor that it mobilized new groups such as young people to vote. The report by Norway's Institute of Social Research also expressed worries about the fact that online voting took place in what is called uncontrolled environments. It said this undermined the need for a vote to be made in secret without anyone influencing the voter as they made their choice. Norway made its decision soon after Jenny Watson, the head of Britain's Electoral Commission, said the UK should move more swiftly to adopt e-voting as it could help arrest a decline in the number of young voters. FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Go look at their shirts. They're witty, hip, smart, and liberty-oriented. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, the rate at which Prime Minister Nouri al-Malaki is losing allies has slowed, but that's only because he has so few left. Everybody in Iraq wants Maliki out, and even his own party has engaged in talks to pick his replacement. Maliki was vastly unpopular with Sunnis and Kurds after reneging on a previous power-sharing deal, and many Shiites now view him as a failure for losing so much of the country to ISIS. Despite this, Maliki continues to insist he's in the running for prime minister and will never step down. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. In local news, 23-year-old graffiti artist Adam Zane has captured the heart of 19-year-old college sophomore Jessica Tisolo. Zane, who goes by the graffiti handle Slice, met Tisolo last summer at an annoyingly self-aware dive bar where the talentless artist caught Tisolo's eye with his cliched sleeve tattoos of trite Japanese imagery and the fact that he was wearing a winter hat indoors in the middle of June. His art is really just the absolute worst. I think we're going to get married someday. And now for This Week in Tech, brought to you by LG. An excited groom sends text messages to his buddies during his bride's vows. And a collection of VHS tapes are held onto for one more year. In other news, a burglar makes sure to crack the glass on a family portrait before leaving. There's nothing in the employee handbook about groping dead co-workers, an employee says. And a report finds that nobody's heard from David Blaine in a while, so somebody should probably check to see if he died in one of those things. Mere seconds have passed, yet we feel as though we've known you a thousand lifetimes. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. We're launching into the third hour of the program here, this live post-Independence Day edition of the show. With you tonight in studio, Ian here. And Mark. Don't forget, you can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features on the site. They are free for you. Once again, freetalklive.com. You can create the content, so you submit to our webpage uh, maybe a news article or a blog post or something online that you think is interesting. could be a YouTube video, something you think is funny. Whatever you think our listeners will appreciate, you put on our website, and then other listeners can vote it up or down. So go to freetalklive.com and get interactive there. As we go back to Jeff in Janesville, Wisconsin, Jeff, you had something you wanted to say, but we didn't get enough time to get have you get it out uh, there. And you well, asked he, a question, right? Yeah, he asked the question is if we believe uh, firmly enough in our ideas that the system is broken here in the United States, um, would we move? And can you flesh that question out a little bit? No, what did you mean by that? Well, what I mean is that if if you want to either make things better in the system or if you want to bail or cessation, as, as I've heard tossed around today, um, well, then go ahead and do that. Mm. Uh, but if, you know, if you want to work within the system, um, I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm 43 and, and I don't even know anything about local government and I'm trying to figure out things and trying to, you know, get 
more aware of of what of what we have happening around us and uh, you know things that relate to our schools and our you know and you know things like geez, even road construction and you know um, you know so, it's a mess. It's hard to get a grasp on it. There's, to, it. there's a lot going right. on. Yeah, but if locals. You don't wanna, if you don't want to take time to learn, and you know, well, are you going to bail or are you going to secede? I mean, come on. Well, I wouldn't claim succeed, that. Really? I wouldn't claim that I haven't taken the time to learn. As a matter of fact, I've sort of done everything oh, no, that you're I, talking about. I, I wouldn't know. I, it's rhetorical. I, I, um, I understand. I don't listen enough to know. Yep. Yeah. And and even if even so, so you're I, talking I, to I hundreds of thousands of people who that question is really relevant for. So I don't mind it. But let me let me tell you what the, my solution okay. was. Um, so I believe in human freedom. I believe that peace, freedom, and personal responsibility are the best solutions to the vast majority of problems out there between interactions with people. Um, and what I decided to, that was when I lived in Sarasota, Florida, the government was getting bigger, the taxes were getting higher, personal responsibility was diminishing, and that although it's a beautiful community with wonderful weather and the whitest beach sand in the world, it wasn't moving the direction that I wanted it to move. So... I picked up and moved my sure. life for the Free State Project, and that's so a, you did move physically. Yeah, I did pick up and move physically, <laughs> in in time and space. Traveled from uh, Florida to New Hampshire, at, for a project to move twenty thousand liberty loving individuals to one state and see what happens when they get there. And what we what you twenty thousand activists, twenty thousand activists, well, you know whatever those activists are people, and th what they've done since they've been here is that. New Hampshire is now the liberty media capital of the world, and it's undisputable. The There is now a libertarian veto in the New Hampshire House. Not a single bill goes through that doesn't go through a marginal libertarian veto of 80 people, 20% of the House. And New Hampshire is rated currently among the top five free estates in the Union, and overall is the freest state in the Union by the last five uh, ratings through from well, the Mercatus Center. Center. So, yes, I am willing I'll to pick up what, and move. That, uh, that that sounds like a that sounds like a lot of fun to me. It is a lot uh, of fun. You know, I like to add something, is, you know, um if you if Go you don't ahead. mind if you don't mind Jeff I'd like to add something uh, I'm Ian no, that was Mark no. who gave you the uh, the answer there a moment ago. Um, I when I moved to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project found that I could be more involved in New Hampshire. So you want to talk about getting involved in the inside the system. I'm more yeah. involved now that I've sure. moved to New Hampshire than ever before. I couldn't when I lived in Florida, there was no chance I could go to Tallahassee at all. I never I've never been to Tallahassee as a matter of fact. I it's like uh, six you know, hours it's, from yeah, Sarasota. It's at least four or five hours from Sarasota. <laughs> and that's one way. Uh, here in New Hampshire, I'm living in the southern uh, southwestern corner of the state in Keene, and I'm about an hour outside of Concord, which is the state capital here. So if I want to go up to a, the state house to testify on various different bills, I can do that here. And it's you know I can do it in a morning actually. You it's can be ignored in person here. Yeah. Well, but Mark, you know it's better here because the people I. I I, you're joking, Mark, because here in New Hampshire, while some people are going to ignore you, some of the politicians will actually listen to you. You can call these people at home. I, I'd like to repeat that. You can call most of the politicians in New Hampshire, the state representatives and even the state senators, at their house. They've got phone numbers on the state website. They don't have an office in the state house building. They have a locker. There's no secretary for these people. Uh, so, you know, they're easy. it's an well, that's, easier that's system. that's not a lot of fun. What, calling somebody at home? I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I would, no, um, having a locker, if I were a state senator, <laughs> I would be pretty pissed off if, if, you know, if that were the case. I hope that doesn't Well, you, you shouldn't run out. for office in, uh, in New Hampshire, You'll then. get paid $100, yep. and you'll get a cubby hole. <laughs> you, get, you literally get $100 a year as a state representative in New Hampshire, and you get a locker in the state house, yeah. and that's it. Now, but the, the good you thing know, about I, that, though, I, Jeff, I like is it doesn't attract politicians, career politicians. It doesn't attract the, the attorneys sure. to that job, and so that's a and good thing. That makes thing. absolute sense to me. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, I just wanted to I wanted to call and just tell you guys that um, this is how I feel. And if people don't get involved, they're not going to they that's where they should start. They shouldn't just sit on their behinds and 
uh, complain. Well, and I agree say, with you. Hey, this is not uh, my but, idea of freedom. Jeff, so I, I'm with you. Complaining doesn't change level. anything. There's no doubt. Sitting, sitting around and bitching and moaning doesn't change anything. But on the other hand, I also yeah. understand there are people out there who have gotten involved and they've expended a tremendous amount of time and energy and money in a lot of cases on the political system only to burn out, to feel ultimately that they had no effect, that the system continued to grow despite their best efforts. And to those people, I don't. I say to them, I don't blame you. If you're frustrated with the system, it's totally understandable why you'd want to opt out and you know stop participating in it. So there's a lot of people who have put in a lot of time and they've determined that it just wasn't worthwhile. It w- wouldn't have been worthwhile for me in Florida. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. And I did do some inside the system there. I helped manage a couple of campaigns and it was just all futile. But in New Hampshire, we can actually have an effect. In New Hampshire, the, uh, the people who get involved can actually make a difference. And we've seen that happen here. And I thank you, Jeff, for your call tonight and appreciate hearing from you. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So if you want to have an effect, it's better to go to a place where there are other people who are like you, if you believe in freedom, that is. And the same thing applies if you don't believe in freedom. If you believe in uh, controlling others, please move to New York, California, uh, you know, Baltimore. There's all kinds of places where D- – D.C. Uh, – where people love to control other people. And you can go and fight over those control mechanisms for the rest of your life. But for those of us who want freedom, who want to be left alone, to live our lives how we want – New Hampshire's the destination for those people. There's just no doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, oftentimes you'll hear people say things like, "Yeah, you you don't you don't like the government? Well, move to Somalia," um, which is, of course, you know, ignorance on display when mm. when the, you know, people that know nothing about Somalia. But I do kind of wonder, you know, if you think that you know that there's some place that's doing the politics that you believe in better than the place that you are. Why, why are you living go? where you are? Yeah, why not go? Let's go to uh, Jim in Huntsville, Alabama, listening to WBHP. Hey, Jim. Hey, guys. I actually have a, have a story about that about four years ago, over four years ago, when uh, the Obamacare thing was, was kind of March of 210 or whatever, and it was kind of getting passed. Mm-hmm. I remember I, I was I was opposing it, and uh, I, I remember some, some, someone who was for it said, quote, well, uh, you know who, 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 who doesn't have universal health care either? Africa. And I'm like, big guy, you don't understand. The governments are so corrupt in Africa. Every one of them has state-run medical care. It's just so bad. People die, half the population dies before they're four of some disease Mm -hmm. that could easily be uh, treated. But it's because the government is running the medical care from the ground up is the reason why there's no recognizable health care there. Um, So That's a good point. different thing. But anyway, guys, I want to talk to you all about the illegal immigration stuff. Here's here's my thoughts on it, okay? Right. And uh, I, I've listened to your show, uh, and, and, and I've not not nearly as much as I'd like to, but, but I, I'm more of an anarcho-Catholic, uh, you know, just maximum freedom, and, and I hate any sort of involuntary control. All right, all right. Way. I'm with you so far, Jim, and I'm going to put so, you on hold. We're going to come back to you. Stand by. Okay. We're going to bring you back here in just a moment. More with Jim in Huntsville. He says he's an anarcho capitalist He's got some opinions about immigration. We're going to have him share those coming up next. Looks like a small handful of countries in Africa. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 
Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. According to attendees of a karaoke night at Charlie's Bar and Grill, a man 30 seconds into singing Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror better get his act together and get it together fast. He f***ed up from the get-go. Coming in late on that first line singing is totally off-key. He needs to shape up and get his head in the game pronto. <laughs> Honestly, he needs to get serious right now or get the f off the stage. I mean, what does he think this is? Living on a prayer? Claiming that this is turning into a train wreck, eyewitnesses say they are embarrassed for the man who has missed several key words despite staring at the prompter the entire f***ing time. You know, he could hit every last note for the remainder of the song, and I still don't know if that would be enough to turn this thing around. Man in the Mirror is the big leagues, so you better show up with your a -game. This is the Onion News Network. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. And you can bring up anything toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. And enjoy the features on our website at freetalklive.com. Brought to you by ExpressCoin, the best choice for buying Bitcoins. And now Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin. More easy, so fast, much legal, wow, inexpensive. Express Coin. They pride themselves on their customer service. Their new website will actually allow them to be more focused on meeting your needs. Get your cryptocurrencies with money order, check, or wire transfer, and now also cash deposits at shared branching credit unions. So your credit union, the credit union that you're depositing at, it doesn't have to be your credit union. You can go to any credit union that has shared branching, deposit cash, and turn them into Bitcoin and other coins. Go to expresscoin.com to get started. And you can also do it from your smartphone. Download their app at expresscoin.com. As we go back to Jim in Huntsville, listening to WBHP. Jim, you said you had some comments about immigration. You've been listening yeah. to the show. You consider yourself an anarcho-capitalist. Personally, I don't care for those terms. Uh, but I at one yeah, time... Terrible I, words stuck I, together. I, I at one time would have agreed with you and used those same terms for myself. I like voluntarist. But nonetheless, go ahead with your thoughts right. on immigration. Uh, I, 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 I agree completely. My volunteer sounds good. Um, yes, yeah, here's my thing. It shouldn't. There, there shouldn't be an immigration service. Like, like, like we don't need to have a um, immigration uh, system relative to uh, the government uh, deciding who can and cannot enter, their legal status, blah 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 blah. Totally agree. So there. Okay, okay, but here's the bad thing that they're doing, too. Here's where they're screwing up, and here's where I understand some of the anger, because I talk a lot 
well, I had like two conversations, but to, 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 to folks who I agree a lot with relative to freedoms and things of that nature, but they're, they're against it. And here's the only little bit of legitimacy I give it. I, I, I give the people who, who are, who are kind of against the, the parts of the process is the government also is reuniting the kids with their family. And although this may seem uh, Which kids? You know, whatever, uh, the 50,000 50, of them so far have been united with, with homes in the United States. And I, th- I think they're going to put the other 250,000. Just, be Just to be clear, you're talking with, about children of immigrants who are being deported? Who are we, who are we talking about here? No, it, uh, apparently um, it's, 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 it's adults who are already here, somehow already got here. Their children uh, have crossed the border you know, through wherever to the immigration, mm-hmm. and the immigration uh, services are putting them with are, – are relocating them with temporary visas with their parents. I'm against that. Now, if there was some volunteers who would like to do that, I would be all for it. But sure. I don't think the government needs to spend time and or money doing that, and I could see there being a, a problem relative to uh, societies who are being artificially – Assimilated. Now, you, you can make the argument that if it was more market oriented, it might be a lot more efficient. Blah blah blah. I could, I could, I could see that. But what the government does, and 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 is is they'll say, okay, you're a refugee, you're young, you can come here. But there, there are guys I work with. I, I used to work with the computers, and there were guys from India who were some of the best, like smartest, just decent quality human beings you could ever dream of. Who could talk about anything? Who could talk about physics? Mm-hmm. Who could talk about politics? Who could talk about everything? And they have to go through hell oh, yeah. to even work in the United States. So, so the government is so what it's doing. I, I can see part of what they're saying. They're they're not letting the best and the brightest here. They're they they, they are in a way funneling a certain demographic who would be, uh, let's just say, more partisan perhaps to vote a particular way. And, well, and I don't also, know if that's think necessarily think true. Yeah, there was recently a situation in California where the Mexican. Um, it was a Mexican caucus that, uh, you know, a Mexican American caucus that voted against the minimum wage. Um, so to claim that um, even though you might be strengthening a particular party, like the Demogra- Democratic Party, doesn't mean that Mexicans right. are necessarily going to vote uh, for, uh, you know, Democratic policies. But I think what he, what Jim said that was spot on is that the immigration policy and the enforcement of it does tend to make it so that the people who and he just drop off the line by the way it does tend to make it so that the people who are uh, affluent who are educated who are maybe very skilled in a certain area they don't get in here very easily whereas somebody who's willing to swim the rio grande so they can go and pick some vegetables is more easily able to get in because they don't they're not worried about the risks as much uh they're or they're willing to take the risk a hundred a hundred percent um i mean there's just so many dumb things about u.s immigration Immigration policy yeah. that they make it difficult on uh, the, the you know the highest educated people to get into this country. That seems like the no brainer to me. If I were running an immigration policy, I can understand why you would want to keep out people who might mm, use social welfare programs or something. I don't think that anybody has an obligation to pay money into a social welfare program to support anyone, immigrant or otherwise. So uh, I agree with the the caller that, uh, you know, that, yeah, that the Border Patrol spending money and energy trying to reunite families. That's those families' right. business, not Ab- the Border Patrol. Abolish the Border Patrol and the INS, or whatever they call themselves, ICE, I guess, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Get rid of them both and let people come here and make a better life for themselves. So long as someone's willing to rent to them or give them a place to stay, and as long as somebody's willing to you know, give them some work, people should be able to make a better life for themselves. Now, that's a radical position in the vast majority oh, of people. freedom is so radical. I'm just telling you, it's okay, it, it is an, uh, I shouldn't use the term radical. It is a highly unpopular opinion and many of the people who are listening uh, would disagree with it just based on i've never heard this before yeah, based uh, on ignorance i understand you know it's scary it's right? something to think about and i'm certainly willing to talk about all the uh, you know the, the reasons you might disagree but think about this for a second as a halfway measure what if you brought them to places you know what if you let immigrants come uh, you know to places like detroit Places that, uh, you know, like Memphis, places that where you see the uh, the economy is 
destroyed. And you know these people would get there, they'd work hard, they'd build a new community. I mean, America's going to see economic benefit from immigrants, especially if you don't let them avail themselves of uh, of social welfare programs. I don't see any reason why anyone should come here and, and suck off the tea to the state. See, no, Let's no reason go for to that. your calls and thoughts. We've got Ken in Grand Rapids, Michigan, listening to WTKG. Hello, Ken. Hey, great to hear you guys tonight. You know, at, you know, three years now I'm listening to you. And I'm here at the Grand River where I first heard you guys, and then you know you're given a, a such a valuable lesson on Independence Day. You know, which is way more than fireworks and and whatnot. And you said so many things that you know sparked my interest. You know, and, and you mentioned the government school system is so pathetic, and you see that's the reason why people are so apathetic. But where I wanted to jump off is, too, is, you know, Independence Day is being, look, you know, we have this freedom, but we need to support it, you know, to vote. And people just, I'm seeing people just don't give a freaking damn, you know, they, 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 well, why should they? they don't even. Why should, why should they, they Ken? I mean, what are you going to vote for, Tweedledee or Tweedledum? Well, I want to get into this with you. Hang on. We're, we're going to bring you back here in a moment. Or as uh, one of the friends of the show, uh, Jason Osborne, has been known to say, uh, one crap sandwich versus another crap sandwich. Do you want pumpernickel on your bun? <laughs> 855 free. Have it your way. U.S. government. I prefer rye. Eight My five, crap sandwich. 855-450-3733. We're here. It's Friday or Saturday night on Free Talk Live. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Henry Ford once said, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops a clock to save time. Alex Castle here, the National Account Executive at GCN. I have the ability to customize a national radio campaign based on your budget while targeting your demographic. Contact me to find out how national radio can help your business be more profitable at 877-996-4327, extension 177. That's 877-996-4327, extension 177, and help me help you bring your business to the next level. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. 
As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way. Love as your guide. And liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and it's the live Saturday edition. You may take control of the airwaves. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And hey, you want to help support Free Talk Live? One of the ways you can do it is by becoming an amplifier. Oh, and I got caught up. I uh, was a couple weeks behind due to the fun of Pork Fest. I put my responsibilities aside. The Porcupine uh, Freedom Festival. Or the Porcupine Freedom Festival, and I got caught up uh, yesterday. So thank you to everybody who's amped the show. Uh, you can get behind Free Talk Live for 5 bucks a month over at amp.freetalklive.com. We invest that into Free Talk Live. We use the money to market Free Talk Live. We just got back from Talkers, uh, which is a yearly convention that uh, the talk radio bigwigs go and attend. And I don't think we're bigwigs, but we schmooze with the bigwigs at these events. And we've been going to them for years. And we're able to attend them. And it costs a couple thousand bucks usually to go to one of these things. Actually, I think New York Talkers is a little bit less because we can drive there. But it can cost, if we go, if we go to L.A., for instance, as we've done, that's usually a, like a $2,000 expense. But it makes a difference for us because we're seen by the decision makers in the business, by these big companies, and uh, it's important to be seen. So thank you to our Free Talk Live amplifiers for sending us there. Another thing the AMP program is being used for right now is Google AdWords. We're doing advertising online and garnering new listeners from that uh, that advertiser. We're getting about 1,000 clicks a month, and we could get more if I paid more. It's one of those things where Google will get you as many clicks as you can pay for if you've got good <laughs> keywords and you've got a good advertisement so we're maxing out the amount of money that i'm offering per month for google we could do more with a little bit more so please go to amp.freetalklive.com and get signed up there and we really appreciate it and again it's only five bucks a month any major credit card through paypal or use visa or mastercard right on our website at amp that's amp amp.freetalklive.com Dot com. As we continue, uh, Ken, back with us in Grand Rapids. Ken, uh, you were getting to something, and we had to go away due to being nailed to the clock. Well, go ahead. Thank you for bringing me back. And, you know, Independence Day is, you know, our freedom against tyrannical governments, and these people today are just inviting them to come in. And I just want to give two examples. When, like you said, career politicians, I call them freaking leeches. Mm -hmm. These people in Kentucky and Mississippi, these diaper-wearing sloths had a chance to unseat these career politicians. And what do these people do? They sit there and they re-elect them in. California, Jerry Brown. I mean... The, the, I don't know, know who that is. Jerry Brown's the governor of California. I, I mean, it happens all the time. Every state. The incumbents have a 90-plus percent re-election rate. Right. I was thinking about this the other day. I got to, well, actually, it was yesterday. I was talking to my wife about it. I said, oh, look, Gene Shaheen wishes us a happy 4th of July. That's a New Hampshire politician. That is. Uh, she's uh, the senator. But the very fact that Gene Shaheen, because I have written her saying that I would prefer her to do something that likely she did not do. Uh -huh. um, uh, that, so now she's marketing. But you. now she can go ahead and say, hey, happy 4th of July. And in the process. Her, her little name gets out there in front of me. And many people who, uh, you know, have this happen is it's name recognition. Really, when it comes down to politicians, it's name recognition. You, a lot of people go in there and, you know, listening to my voice right there, you know you've gone into an election booth if you've been into one at all and you've looked at an election, whether it's for tax collector in your town or whether it's for president, well, and you you've seen a name you me. don't recognize. You guys have been promoting, you know, independence, you know, for years since I've been listening to you about, you know, going up there to New Hampshire, and you're the first ones that I heard, heard about Bitcoin. Mm. But until we get rid of these stupid vote people, 
in my side, in the supposedly Republican side, that listen to, they follow the lead of like people like Ann Coulter and follow her stupid lead, and they vote for what people say on the radio. And mm. so these people, we, we can't do nothing when these people like that out there voting, like in Kentucky, they can't even get rid of. If you look at who who they could have had it instead of that senator in Kentucky, that leech. I'm sure the other guy was a scumbag too. I mean, that's usually the problem with voting. All we need is a new scumbag. You're up against one, uh, you know, the guy that's been in there for a while, and yeah, that's a bad thing because then he's got connections and you know, he's got political power and he's wielding that. But then the new guy just wants to take those uh, those reins of power for himself and reward his friends and punish his enemies. So I mean, color me skeptical on this whole a- approach. I get your frustration. Ken. There's no doubt about it. There's a lot of ignorance out there, and it can be frustrating when ignorant people go and vote and essentially cancel out your presumably well-researched vote. But that's the system that we have, and there's no way to stop people from yeah. participating. The problem in it. with uh, democracy is there's a bunch of dumb people with votes. On both sides. Thanks for the call. I, 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 I <laughs> just a bunch it, of dumb people with votes. <laughs> Thank you. You can study your butt off, be as involved as you want to be, and. There's ten people that are like, right. duh, who's who? Who's the vice president? And I, I use the southern accident uh, accent because uh, that's where I'm from. But uh, you know, I mean, th- there's lots of people that just don't know what they're doing, and they're voting because they're told they should. Chris is in Kalamazoo, Michigan, listening to WKZO. Hello, Chris. How you doing? Hey, welcome. Go ahead. Man, you guys, you guys got me going. I could say about a hundred things here, but uh, pick two. I mean, just. Just uh, yeah, I'll pick two real quick. I mean, going on this this thing with the voting, um, you know, that there's problems on both sides, and it's not really even about if you're Republican or Democrat. If you're even identifying with those two pro- parties, you're part of the problem to begin with. <laughs> yeah. If you think one's different from the other, um, but you know, it's once they, like you say, once they get in there, they have no accountability, um, and. You know, it's not even about if you do your research and you vote for who you say. I mean, when they get in there, they change anyway. Uh, mm, that's but true. What I wanted to call about, what I wanted to call about, was something you guys said earlier about, you know, Vermont seeding from the nation and, you know, just stopping paying your federal taxes and doing this and that. And, you know, I travel quite a bit. Um, I've been all over the world. I've been all over the country. Um, and you know, I just kind of find that the, you know. And I don't mean this in any kind of negative way or anything, but I went to grad school with uh, a lot of kids from the Northeast, too. And, you know, you guys are just kind of in a bubble up there. You you don't really know what's going on, you know, west of the the Delaware Gap there and south of D.C. And and you kind of think you just have like this, like, skewed perspective. But, I mean, how how many years of my life? Wait a second. How many years of my life would I have had to have lived in Florida to not have a skewed northeastern uh, opinion? Well, you know, I don't. uh, I'm not saying that if you're from Florida, you wouldn't have a skewed southeastern perspective either. But all right. um, So now, can I have at least a very (laughs) least a skewed eastern opinion? Sure. Okay, sure, great. Because I lived in Florida um, for thirty something years, thirty eight years or I, something like that. I, I lived I, in Florida for twenty six years. I, I think I caught that when you're talking about going up to Tallahassee. But uh, I lived in California you know, my, for three months, but well, I don't think that counts. Chris, let me give you a little bit of credit, though. I mean, it's certainly true that people in North New England who've lived here their whole lives, they don't have perspective, right, on what things are like in the rest of the country. I heard a you know, there was a young lady I was talking to recently here in Keene who was talking about how bad the police are in New Hampshire, and I just laughed and I said, uh, yeah, the cops in New Hampshire are better than in Florida. They're not as scary here, for instance. But if you've never been anywhere else, you don't have that perspective. But that's true about people from anywhere. I mean, the people that are from California no, right. don't know what it's like in the Northeast, etc. No, and you're you're absolutely right, and just and we don't even want to get started on Texas either, right? But uh, let's uh, let's say though, you know, what what exactly do you guys produce? You know, I'm I'm in uh, I'm in you guys. That, Hold on, you know, wait. I produce a radio program. You mean the sh- you mean the <laughs> us behind the microphone? What do we produce? No, I mean in the Northeast. You know, how long would it be if you were to actually um, secede from the nation? How much time? I mean, how much time would you be able? to self-sustain. Well, let me, okay, uh, let me, I will field that uh, question for you, sir, because I suspect okay. you, you are, <laughs> you, when was the last time you bought some locally sourced food? Today, actually. 
actually. Excellent, um, because also, the fact is that New Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine are the number one, two, and three states in the union for so locally sourced food. So the fact is, is that go Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire isn't Maine. Okay, New Vermont's Hampshire's first, three. Maine is second, New Hampshire's third. Okay, um, but these these three area, the Arcadia region, are the you know number one for being sort of self sustained. Uh, having a deep water port would probably be really, really awesome. Well, I think Chris um, is hitting on a good question, though. Handguns, so, Ruger, Sig Sauer, uh, on, Timberline Chris. boots. Hold, hold on, Mark. <laughs> hold on, Chris. We're going to bring Chris back here if he wants to hang on. That's just New Hampshire. I haven't even gone out into New England yet. Well, stand by. We're going to get it to the... Because this is a good question, and I've got an answer for him here in a moment about, well, if New Hampshire were to secede, how long could you handle it? How long would you be all right without having the United States around? It's Free Talk Live. Or come this is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I actually do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. You know Bellawood Flooring for its beauty and durability. And now at Lumber Liquidators, Bellawood Flooring is on sale. Get 10% off every Bellawood pre-finished floor, including solid hardwood, ultra-strand bamboo, and Bellawood mat with a unique oil-finished look. Save big on pre-finished hardwood at just $169 a square foot and Black Forest laminate for only $0.49. Cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Over 70 flooring deals and special 12-month financings available. But hurry, the sale ends Tuesday. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to ProFlowers.com, click the blue microphone in the top right corner, and enter code PLOW. That's ProFlowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks in cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. 
While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here, but enough time for your call with your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. This program brought to you by Keenvention. Go to Keenvention.info and you can still get your early bird tickets for Keenvention. I know I said I was going to go through the end of Porkfest, but I'm still getting caught up from Porkfest. And so I'm hoping by the end of the weekend, it being that would then be a whole week since Pork, Porkfest, the Porcupine Freedom Festival, uh, that I will be caught up and have the ticket prices go up. For Keenvention, going up from forty for the early bird deal to sixty dollars. Now, sixty bucks isn't bad for a convention. Uh, you're going to spend a weekend uh, hanging out with other liberty-minded people here in Keen, uh, learning about activism from the doers, from the activists. We're not flying in any fancy name speakers for Keenvention. Keenvention's only New Hampshire-based activists in speaking roles. You now, you're welcome to join Keenvention if you're not from New Hampshire and check out the scene here in New Hampshire with liberty activists all over the place, all across the Shire. This is not just Keen-based activists that will be speaking at Keenvention. There'll be people from all across New Hampshire, people that are doers in the legislative world, in the civil disobedience world, and everything in between. We've, we cover it all, or as much of it as we can, in a weekend at Keenvention, and it was a lot of fun last year. You can go and actually watch the entire thing, for the most part. You can watch all of the panels, all of the discussions, the speeches. It's all recorded. You can play them back at your leisure over at Keenvention.info, and then get your tickets while you still can for 40 bucks or the Bitcoin equivalent your choice, Keenvention.info. It's happening October 31st through November 2nd this year. So it's a great excuse to come check out New Hampshire. You've heard a lot about the Free State Project. This is your intimate occasion. This is a great event because it's very, very small. There aren't as many people that attend Keenvention uh, than, say, the Liberty Forum, which is the Free State Project's yearly convention they put on in the wintertime. Keenvention had about a fifth of the Liberty Forum attendance last year, and we can never be as large as Liberty Forum because Keen's not that big, and the hotels here don't hold as many people. So uh, it's always going to be an intimate event, and I think that's a good thing. Keenvention.info, we continue here with uh, Chris in Kalamazoo listening to WKZO. You're back on, Chris, and you talked about the, the question you'd asked earlier was about, you know, if New Hampshire secedes, or I'd like to say when New Hampshire secedes. Hey, hey. Go ahead. Actually, I think uh, I think we started to spin a little bit in the wrong direction. Because um, I'm actually kind of, kind of trying to make a little bit different of a point here. Okay. Um, I realize up there in the Northeast that you guys are a little bit more self-sustained than a lot of um, other states, perhaps. You do have uh, access to the sea. You've got a border with Canada, things like that. So you're in a little bit better position. But my point is, um, you know, that model... Say, suppose you did secede, and, 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 and I'm not saying that I, I disagree with that. I think that's a, a noble idea. Mm -hmm. But you, you've got the, the United States, you know, the federal government. Um, you know, how long do you think it's going to take for them to basically, um, in effect, put an embar embargo on your, you know, all the way around you? Nothing gets in, nothing gets out. Um, they put the Navy right there off your coast. Uh, federal, you know, everything federal, banks, uh, telecommunications airports, what have you, no longer, you know, you, you no longer have any control or autonomy. That over level I mean, of fear, you know, Chris, is the exact reason why secession needs to happen, because people are so deathly afraid of the federal government. I mean, look what you're saying. And it's possible they could do those things. You're saying that if we secede, they're going to starve us to death. And well, if that's how bad these people are, then I want nothing to do with them. And uh, this is the and, reason. And I don't think I don't think it's a matter of I don't think it's a matter of fear. I think it's a matter of reality. You're not right. talking about they you are that and dangerous, I and maybe like some. You're talking about the average American, the average American driving their SUV, playing their PlayStation, going to work, punching the clock. They're not up for that. Right. I absolutely not, agree with you. Not but in that game. I agree. They're, they're they. Not gonna, so that's not going to. I, I, right. They, they are that dangerous. They will do those things. And this is the reason I personally don't support secession. Not because I don't support it as a concept, but because I think from a practical standpoint, the people in Washington, D.C. want their power so severely that they don't care who they threaten, kill, whose lives they destroy. They care nothing for that. All they care about is their power. So that's what I support things like nullification. Nullification is when a state just says, look, 
We're not going to follow that law. For instance, Colorado and Washington State. Now, these states have, in effect, seceded from the United States' DEA. They have told them, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. We don't need these rules. And there has been no embargo. There has been no uh, blockade. The power companies haven't shut off their electricity. The banks haven't shut their doors. There's some problems with the banking for marijuana businesses. So I would point out that when, you know, it's going to, the road to secession isn't tomorrow this is going to happen. That much is obvious. Sure, and and I personally believe idea. that the United States federal government is so fiscally irresponsible that they will be insolvent before the people of New Hampshire or Vermont can uh, ever come to the decision to secede. But one does need to have the conversation about what would it be like? How do little countries like Andorra and Hong Kong and uh, you know Singapore and Liechtenstein. How do these places make it? Well, the answer is is they they provide more freedom to people, and that's why they come. Well, and I wanted to come back around to your question, Chris. Even though you've modified it since then, I still want to answer because I think it's a good one. Uh, the question of well, if New Hampshire were to secede, then how would you sustain yourself? Well, obviously the self-sustaining thing's cool, but uh, the other thing that uh, should keep in mind is that. Hong Kong doesn't have self-sustainability. Like, Hong Kong is a rock. That's all it is. There's nothing there. I lived in Hong Kong for eight years. What's that? I lived in Hong Kong for eight years. Oh, really? You didn't eat any locally sourced food there, did you? A lot of seafood, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. There is that. Some seafood. There is that. But Hong Kong itself. All the water comes from the mainland, yeah. Yeah, Hong Kong itself has no natural resources. There's nothing produced in Hong Kong that that comes from the ground. You know, it comes from the earth there. But there's a lot produced in Hong Kong otherwise. I mean, there's an incredible amount of production happening in Hong Kong because it's one of the freest places on the planet. Um, in fact, the Free the World Foundation or uh, Fra- Fraser Institute. Up until 1997. <laughs> no, it's still the freest place on the planet. You, whoa, whoa, what years did you live there? Um, I lived there from 2000 to 2008. It is still ranked by and the Fraser first, Institute, first, by both the Fraser and Heritage Institutes, as the number one most economically free place on the planet. Now, that's not ranking social freedoms real well. Oh, yeah. Um, but it yeah, is. Yeah, economically, yeah, it is. China and China, and that was that was actually my second point. Um, you know, I, I was you know Hong Kong, China, Shenzhen, that area. Um, it, it's a much more free market. It's a much more open capitalistic system than than what we you know even have here. There's, you mean China in general? You're talking about China in general. China in general. Yes, that's true China as well. General, uh, yes, China so has well. over the years become. Don't say more that on free. American radio. China- it's, it's the Fourth of July for God's sake. You can't. <laughs> Say that China has more economic freedom than the United States. There's for God's sake, somebody for send a remote control eagle and rip that guy's their, heart out in their, Kalamazoo. Their internet isn't and, as free and in I, China. And I actually, no, not at all. But, and I will actually go, and this is like my second thing, I will go so far as to say on a personal liberty level, I felt more free in China wow. than I do in the United States. Chris, I mean, thank heard you. it before. Thank I've you, heard it before. I wish we had more time for you, Chris, but we got to move on. Thank you for the call. I appreciate hearing okay. from you. Great, yep. uh, really interesting personal experience, too. Would love to hear more stories about China in the future from Chris if he wants to call in and, and tell, you know, what are some of the differences? What are some of the key things that you noticed when you were over there? I know Gene, the Christian anarchist who's called our show over the years, has called from China a number of times and talked about how he's tried and he can't find a cop with a gun. Uh, he can't <laughs> find, you know, there's like, stop, they don't have stop signs and like all kinds of neat things. Anyway, let's continue here we've got fred in battle creek listening to wbck hey fred yeah i want to see if uh you'll take your focus off on uh the public schools and uh, start talking maybe a little bit about the privatization of, of the public schools and how much money is being siphoned from the public schools and follow the money trail and and see you know some of their plans it seems uh to get the next two generations to where they can control them uh, a little bit more uh, due to the fact that the way I think is like some of these guys coming back from the military, you know, they control these kids uh, up to the school system and they needed these kids with the computers and so on to fight this war. And the war was so long that the spell wore off because probably 80% of them questioned what went on. So they need in the future uh, a couple generations of kids that they can totally condition, and I think this Common Core and uh, this privatization of the school system is going to affect that for this uh, 
for these parties. Fred, I'm going to try to give you a short answer here, and I thank you for the call tonight. Thanks for making it. Um, privatization, whenever you bring, you take a government agency and then you hand it over to a private company that's probably somehow politically connected to the school board or city council or whatever, you're going to have corruption. You're going to have problems. You're going to have graft. You're going to have waste. Uh, it's not that much better than a government-run situation. And still, then you just have private people issuing government-approved uh, curriculum and things like that. So I am not a fan of privatization in any way, shape, or form. As far as schools are concerned, they are designed to crank out drones, drone kind of worker drones, unthinking, no critical thinking, don't question the system. The best thing to do, get your kids out of the government schools. Unschool, homeschool, uh, don't put them inside the system. We're out of time tonight. Join us tomorrow online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, July 5th, 2014. Silver is trading at $21.15 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,321 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $632. Antiwar.com reports, since ditching their ceasefire at the start of the week, Ukraine's military is back to launching massive military offensive against eastern regions and reported 13 soldiers were killed yesterday in the fighting. Fighting, as usual, centered around the city of Slovyansk and the military claimed to have seized one nearby town, though the city itself remains completely out of their control. Though the military is nowhere near retaking the capital of the rebellion, Donetsk, the city's outskirts did come under fire for military shelling, damaging key portions of their drinking water system, and forcing the city to limit reliable water supplies across the city to five hours a day. The Donetsk and Luhansk Oblast have been effectively out of the government control for months now, with rebellions erupting after the ouster of the previous government. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 
The BBC reports Norway is ending trials of electronic voting systems used in national and local elections. Experiments with voting via the net were carried out during the elections held in 2011 and 2013, but the trials have ended because, the government said, voters' fears about their votes becoming public could undermine democratic processes. Political controversy and the fact that the trials did not boost turnout also led to the experiment ending. In a statement, Norway's Office of Modernization said it was ending the experiments following discussion in the nation's parliament about the efforts to update voting systems. The statement said, although there was a broad political desire to let people vote via the internet, the poor results from the last two experiments had convinced the government to stop spending money on more trials. The 2013 trial was also controversial because immediately prior to the election, criticism was leveled at the encryption scheme used to protect votes being sent across the net. Software experts called for the entire voting system to be rewritten to better protect data. A report looking into the success of the 2013 trial said about 70,000 Norwegians took the chance to cast an e-vote. This represents about 38% of the 250,000 people across 12 towns and cities who were eligible to vote online. However, it said there was no evidence that the trial led to a rise in the overall number of people voting, nor that it mobilized new groups such as young people to vote. The report by Norway's Institute of Social Research also expressed worries about the fact that online voting took place in what is called uncontrolled environments. It said this undermined the need for a vote to be made in secret without anyone influencing the voter as they made their choice. Norway made its decision soon after Jenny Watson, the head of Britain's Electoral Commission, said the UK should move more swiftly to adopt e-voting as it could help arrest a decline in the number of young voters. FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Go look at their shirts. They're witty, hip, smart, and liberty-oriented. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. Antiwar.com reports, the rate at which Prime Minister Nouri al-Malaki is losing allies has slowed, but that's only because he has so few left. Everybody in Iraq wants Maliki out, and even his own party has engaged in talks to pick his replacement. Maliki was vastly unpopular with Sunnis and Kurds after reneging on a previous power-sharing deal, and many Shiites now view him as a failure for losing so much of the country to ISIS. Despite this, Maliki continues to insist he's in the running for prime minister and will never step down. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The CEO of Dollar Tree unveils the long-rumored foil baking pan. A new donor liver complains about the difficulty of working with Lou Reed. And a local couple keeps their marriage together for the sake of no one. We'll keep this as quick and painless as possible. This is the Onion Week in Review. A study published this week in the Journal of Financial Economics found that 83% of gamblers quit right before they would have hit the big one. Researchers confirmed that roughly 8 out of 10 gamblers who walked away from slot machines, poker games, horse races, roulette, and other games were consistently just a single stake away from winning it all and unknowingly gave up a lifetime of fortune by quitting prematurely. Our study proved that subjects who closed an online poker session, walked away from a slot machine, or even gave up gambling altogether would have won millions of dollars in the next bet. Also, people who walk away after hitting that big are missing out on a chance to make more money. I mean, when you're hot, you're hot. In other news, an Asian guy has a separate group of Asian friends and a vain Galapagos tortoise tries to pass for 90. This is the Onion News Network. It's time for Off the Air Live. And here's your host, Cody O'Connor. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Off the Air Live, Saturday edition of the show. You hear us every Thursday and Saturday night on LRN.FM and on TalkSuperStation.com. Phone lines are open tonight at 774-314-7067. 
or you can Skype in at Off the Air Live and keep me company on this post-Independence Day where America's still around, America's still free, freest country in the whole goddamn planet. If you don't like that, you can get the fuck out. Only we don't talk like that over on this radio program.